Expo. We're here again. We are with here again. Michael Reynolds or the Fierce Diva. The Fierce Diva, more commonly known as the Fierce Diva. Gamer. Bitch, I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> We were just here not long ago. We were. Chatting it up. But we also, in addition to the Fierce Diva, we have our own Maddie. Our oldest. Oh, everybody. I don't know what to say. (laughs) Madison. Maddie's 21. 21. It was really weird because we we took her out to dinner tonight and paid Mm -hmm. for her dinner. And like she could legally get a drink with us. It was really weird that they were like, can we see your ID? And she was like, yes, you can. Shut up, girl. You you lived for that moment, didn't you? Yeah, I lived. I she was for it. For it. She got a uh, some sort of martini. March, but was it pink it lemonade? It was like pink lemonade something. It was good. Mm. Martini, fancy punch. When it's too sweet, that that it had been bothering me. It wasn't yeah. even too sweet. For too me. sweet I is like not it. good. I, I could have had it more sweet because I like when they're sweet. She likes super sweet. Yeah. Sweet equals headache. I don't like the sweet drinks, but anyway, so it was really it was really different. Mm. It's really different. But she's finished with her semester of school and. What yeah. are you studying? Nursing. Girl, you're going to be a nurse, yeah. honey. You're going to go all the way nurse practitioner? Uh, I don't know how well I would like to make decisions for people, so mm-hmm. I don't know, but they make good money, so maybe. They do, and plus, I need someone to write prescriptions for me. <laughs> Easy. <Hey. laughs> oh, my gosh, Marta, you're funny. I do want to travel, though, because they make good money. They really do. And they plus, really do. like, it gives you a different type of lifestyle. Like, you, you're you kind of more in control. It gives you more authority over your professional life and your personal life because you're not, like, rooted in anywhere. Right. right. You know, you can go wherever you want. And also, having your, your license here in the United States, I think that gives you more, um, like, you have more ability to leave the, the country as well. Because I, I think that there are people over in the Emirates they were trying to get people to come over there and do like nursing contracts as well. And you can make bank, girl, oh my gosh. and live like lavishly. It's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds good. So yeah, we're, listen. I plan on you, living lavishly. Go off sure. then. Go yeah. off. Yeah, I think you should. Me and too. you never know who you might meet in a different state. Yeah, you, know you could have boyfriends in like four different states. Oh, yeah. you could be dropping. You be like, I'm going to North Carolina <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, and. Uh, I'm just saying she's kind of limited on pickings here in, in Charleston, Huntington area. That's very yeah, true. That's true. You know what I mean? Yes. And if she goes to a, a bigger city true. or something, and if it's a longer contract, you might get to know the nurses that you work with. You might go out and you just might find Mr. Wright out there. But if you but if so. you don't, then that's cool, too. Yeah, you don't I'm need to be looking for Mr. To no, no, no. Right. I'm yeah. not saying it's, to be in a rush. I'm just making a broad statement that she would have more opportunity than just staying here in the Charleston yes. area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because it's I, hard. But be careful. There's a lot of sickos out there. Yeah, they might not exactly. look like it, Jeff, but they she are. knows she watches Criminal hey. Minds. <laughs> She's my daughter. Stop I'm trying it. to protect her. Do you her. watch Criminal Minds? <laughs> no. They watch Criminal Minds and they get all oh, freaked yeah. out. Yeah, crime stuff. They're like, you got to awesome. stop this. You got to stop. They, you watch Criminal Minds, Mom? You got to start locking the doors. Goodness gracious, honey. Calm down. They leave the front door unlocked all the Dude, time. I, used, I, I leave my doors in. unlocked, too. I leave mine Y'all unlocked. I did <laughs> until I had a ro- my roommate, um, Blaze Taco. Yeah, he crazy. Blaze Taco? Um, yeah. <laughs> I know, he's so wild. But he he cannot stand how like lax I am. And we were in like a in in um North Carolina, we were in a really nice neighborhood, like just as nice as this, mm-hmm. but just bigger. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Why why are you so like if I would leave to just go down the street to get something to eat, mm-hmm. he would he would always come downstairs and and lock it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bitch, I'm gone for like 15 <laughs> fucking minutes. Bitch. Yeah. We're in, these houses are $500,000 house neighborhood. Yeah. Like, ain't, and we're like deep in the cove, honey. Yeah. We ain't like right next to the, on Providence. Like, right. Yeah. So right. it would get on my nerves because yeah. you got to understand where you are too. But then again, I understand there's nothing wrong with being like cautious, but there's no need to live life like always fearful. I feel like that's like, I agree. I agree. Yeah. It's, and two, if you're just running out, I mean, someone would have to really be stalking you to hit you for that 10 minutes. Yeah, they have to be like sitting outside watching your house ready yes. to attack. Yes, yes, and that's what I said too. It's like we're in the cut. Like they have to come and pass like 30, 40, 50 houses and be like, "Bitch, we want you, motherfucker." Yeah, for your ass. And then they gotta get out somehow, and, they might. and they go all yeah. the way. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, know. yeah, they gotta do that. Which, I don't plus, know. you gotta live on the edge a little. Yeah, plus I'm African American. I'm gay. I hope they ask. <laughs> they know better. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, it's they do watch these shows because. I'll get out of the car. I'll be in the car with Brooke. I don't know if Maddie would do this, but I'll be in the car with Brooke and I'll get out and she'll stay in the car and I'll just be running into Walmart or something or even, even sheets. 
and she'll lock the door. I and always I'm like, do that. What, what are you I walking the door lock for? The door. I'm right in here. She said, they might kidnap me. I'm like, they will bring you back. You know, back. somebody Daddy. could, have you not heard of like when people will get in the car and they could just hop in your car and hold a gun at your head and tell you drive. That's what I'm talking about. Well, listen, it that has happen. happened in real life before. It has happened in real life, but like, you got to think about the people who, like, if they really trying to get your ass, they going to get you, honey. That door ain't going to save you. But at the same time, let's be honest too, you, you want to put as many obstacles in their way to do that. True. However, it's better safe than sorry. But if they walk up to the window and they put a gun, to lock the door yeah. and open the door, yeah. and be like, honey, listen, take it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it all. I'm, I'm getting my insurance. I'm going to get out of the car. You can take it. Yeah, I'm getting this insurance. Yeah. She won't. She doesn't like a walk around the store by herself. Mm-hmm. There's sex traffickers out. I know, but you got to get around well, world and the world. You guys act like they're like on every corner. You haven't heard the stories about the ones at the Walmart in Southridge? Wait, what? Yeah, some um, girl said that on a comment under somebody's Facebook about how on they've Facebook. Been leaving, like, no, they leave like um, they leave like a fake like baby doll or like carrier like uh-huh. of a, like. And they'll be driving by, and they want you to like go get distracted and like pick it up, and they take you. That that's happening. That sounds like someone's fibbing. It sounds a little far. A sex trafficker now, in I South Charleston, West heard, Virginia. I have heard. No, oh, they're they're everywhere. I have heard not necessarily a sex trafficker, but I I there was a girl in the salon telling a story of a guy following her and her kid mm-hmm. around Walmart, and she had to get the security on him, and they escorted him out. Yeah, mm. that's. That's I don't know cool. her. She could be making it There's up to you. There's sex traffickers saying, everywhere. They just look like I'm not people. for sex traffickers. I'm for sex in traffic. But not. Can you please handle him? Like, you, he's I ridiculous. Can't, I can't handle him. I fucking I've tried. hate him. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> and you have him sitting next to me, Tinted too. Tinted windows, preferably. You know, tinted windows. I've tried to tame him. I just have given up. You're untamable. I'm is untamable. That a word? Yeah. It is I don't, now. We make up words. You know that. It's, it's un, I I'm untamable. Therapatize. Therapatize. Remember? I do remember. Therapatize. I will therapatize Untamable. the shit out of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you, you can try to wrangle me. That's I, cool. I made up a word once. I forget what it was on the podcast. You've made remember. words up, I yeah. We'd have that. to go through the 350 podcasts to figure it out. I know. But. I mean, it's easy to do. It is what it is. But I understand your fear, but sometimes that fear can be like. I don't know if it's necessarily like, a fear. I just think it's safety precautions. I think She's it's safe. a little obsessive. You know what I mean? But I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Precautions. I just. I'm, I'm glad wa- you are. I'm watching my surroundings. I'm being aware. You should watch your surroundings, and you should take jujitsu. So that if anything <laughs> happens, say, if someone comes up to me, what am I really going to do? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm saying you should. You should be doing some kind of self defense. But at the same time, we which talked may get about used this. on you. We talked about this last week a little bit, or not, or the week before, when we were saying, or when I was telling you that for me, I operate life differently than you all because I don't really have this fear walking through streets or in situations because of my stature. Right. And, you know, same. Yeah. So, well, you know, being a man (laughs) and walking around and like having some type of size, people are not going to look at you as an easy target. But being a woman, you living through life, you live in a different reality than we do. We don't understand that. That's true. I can understand that. And I, I shouldn't be saying, don't be fucking out here. Be scared of everything. It's like, you got to be, I guess. You know, like you live yeah. differently. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm not necessarily sh- scared. Just more yeah. like. She's cautious. She's being precautious. Yeah. And that's good. She's being cautious. Yeah. I like knowing that with her living I on I do her too, because living down in Huntington on your own. Huntington. <laughs> Jeez. Huntington is a cesspool of debauchery. <laughs> oh, God. Lord, I, ah! I hate that place. Oh, it's so filthy, honey. Oh, God, scare me. <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> Let me stop because someone's going to listen and be like, bitch, how dare you talk about Huntington? <laughs> <laughs> Cancel him. You know that. Because I need to stop it. You know that. You know <laughs> no, go, I got go love on. for y'all, but y'all are raggedy out there, just so you know. <laughs> listen, the, the campus is nice. Campus. It's not bad around Man, the surrounding it. At, at the outside. Yeah. There do be a lot of crackheads, though, for real. Girl, oh. it'd be wild out there in the streets. It really does. And yeah. it's, that's been wild. Because I was in high school. You hear sirens like multiple times. Yeah. Before. And shootings. And yep. it, I just be like, good. Where are we at, honey? <laughs> where are we? We're in Wild Wild West over here. <laughs> oh. And you know what? I had a ner- Someone had a nerve to tell me that I lived in Portsmouth, Ohio. They were like, oh, no. They were like, Huntington is not the hood. Charleston. I was like, where? Uh, what the yeah, fuck are you talking about? No, 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 no. I was no, like, you are no, wild. No, no, no. I mean, there's some spots you can find yeah. to argue that. Mm-hmm. But, but I mean, together, there's multiple spots in Huntington. Altogether. It's bad. No, yeah. Huntington's just known the whole. The Over, whole yeah, it's, yeah, it's known throughout it. the state <laughs> as being the, yeah. It's rough. 
<laughs> it is rough. So yeah, maybe I understand your fears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, down there, I worry about it sometimes. I walk so. around waiting for getting somebody at one too. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be walking around like this, just ready. I like, push me, push me. I'll push be walking me. to my car at eleven at night when I get off work at the hospital. I'll be scared to go in the parking garage like someone's about to snatch me or something. Mm-hmm. She has to FaceTime somebody while she's walking. They're just gonna pop up to you and ask you for money. At least money. they know where I'm at. Yeah, you know, true. if I'm on FaceTime and I get stolen or something, at least they'll know that I got stolen. Well, there. And yeah. that's why I'm glad she, that we have her on Live 360. You know that app. Mm-hmm. I don't well, if do my it. phone's off, it ain't going to work. Well, I guess <laughs> it's true. But it, I don't do it to stalk her. I don't care. I don't, you know, I don't care what she does. She's 21. But I, it is a, a reassuring feeling that I can wake up in the middle of the night and be like, Maddie should be home and open up the app and see she is. That makes me feel Yeah, good. that is. Yeah. I love so that. So that is kind of a safety feature. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And tonight I did stalk her to see where she was. Like, is she almost here? <laughs> that yeah, way you don't have to text people. Well, then I don't have to you text her and make her text You're back. Like, oh, there she it's is. Like, mm-hmm. you know. So. That reminds me of, like, for me, I accidentally, there might be somebody out there, I accidentally share my fucking location, and they don't fucking tell me. And they be oh. creeping and creeping and, and creeping. creeping. And, and, like, my friend Brad Riddle, I doubt That's he's weird. out there. But That's I sh- a little weird. I, well, That's I shared little weird. my notification with him, or my, my whatever with him. And I was coming to see him, he was like, like you haven't you told me you left you ain't left yet. I was like, bitch, how do you know I left? How do you know, how do you know I didn't leave? You got caught. And then later he was you're like, on, you're on CPT, aren't you? I'm always. <laughs> I'm, al- <laughs> you know. I'm always late, honey. I mean, it's 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 rooted. Actually, you so know what? Basically, I think- if you need him somewhere, tell him a yes. later time than mm-hmm. when you want him to come. Yeah, I've yeah. learned that with people because earlier. Yeah, earlier. earlier tell him earlier. earlier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, earlier. Yeah. So uh huh. Because then they'll be there on time. Yeah, it, it'd they won't be rough. Even know. They'll think they're late. It'll you be- really were on time because my goal was to actually start. I was like, well, if we tell them eight, we'll probably all get rounded up by eight thirty and be on the thing. You know what I mean? It and was like yeah, what time I was it? Say forty eight. But we've okay. been doing this a hot drinking minute. out of a shoe. Yeah. You really, we should have turned that off because he's, he's distracted. He is. He, I'm fine. Do this. No, I'm right here with you. you I am fine. Why you, are you being you like did? my wife? What, because we got to, we got to handle you. We got to wrangle <laughs> you up, honey. We got to tie one of them little lassos. Yeah. We are in Wild West, right? We are. As we said. We are. <laughs> it was a nice little knockout. I got a glimpse and I saw him drinking out of his shoe right here. Watch this. Mm. Listen. Oh, you know, oh. Listen, turn it off. Yeah, it's going to knock him out right here. Yeah. Oh, don't get him started on his. Yeah. That, one, yeah, that one night was hilarious. Um, so anyway, let's let's get on the topic. Oh, yeah. relationships, what? relationships, relationships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 But you know what? And a nice, perfect segue for that is for you, Maddie. Like living there in that type of environment, in the way that you have, like you foresee some of the dangers out there. How does that impact you developing relationships out there? Well. Like, what do you mean? Well, I mean, like, do you, like, like, cause you, you, how you're operating out there, like, you have this stance that you have to feel safe out there because you don't feel that's a safe place. Does that, right. like, does that, well, ha- like, impact your decision with developing relationships with people? I don't know. I feel like where I go to school there, I feel like that little area is more, like, when you, you'll meet people that, like, you're in school with. And, like, there's people from all around the world, kind of, mm-hmm. like, going to school there. So it's like you meet a, diverse amount of people like, but it's still within like the it. safety of like your school kind of environment kind of. versus just being i mean out i'm sure wild. if you go deeper into huntington than oh, where yeah, than yeah, around yeah. marshall's campus where i live yeah. then it's probably a lot worse yeah don't mm-hmm. go deep then, out i mean it's it, there's still crackheads roaming around there. oh sure like, there's still, still well it's kind of like the ocean huntington is you can go out a little bit where it's safe you still could get a jellyfish stung but you don't want to go way out there in huntington way out there in the ocean where the sharks are <laughs> we want to stay yeah. about we want to stay about ankle deep in uh-huh. Huntington. Ankle deep about ankle deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you can kick a motherfucker. Because yeah. Marshall's campus, they have all them security things and mm-hmm. the campus place. So it's not crazy right in there. Yeah. Yeah. So that doesn't, it doesn't really affect you that much. Mm-hmm. Like no, not that really. Because really, I just go to, I'm at home, I go to school, or I'll go out and party downtown, but it's right there by Marshall. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll just go to school, work, and. Well, what kind of relationships sometimes. you got out there, honey? Um, I've only had one. It was awful. Oh, shit. It was a football player. Here we go. So, oh, see, you know what? See, see, yeah. see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see. yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, it, it, it does. It, it, it makes it's sense like. because, like, so here's the thing. It, like, like, we can relate to that in a different way now. I'm going to, like, make this, um, I'm going to make the judgment call that you can. I'm going to just, like, say, mm-hmm. I'm going to speak for you. Because now that, like, we understand a little bit of what clout means like um from like tiktok or facebook or whatever 
people will treat you differently or and like also people will um, you don't know sometimes some of the expectation that people will place upon you. And also at the same time, when you become someone that has a little bit of a following, it can develop, you know, like some negatives on your ego. Like mm-hmm. you can develop this big ego and feel like you can treat people however the fuck you want to treat them. Mm-hmm. And that I think is something that, that is I can exactly. Yes. That's how you exactly can see with how, them people. Because especially mm-hmm. whenever like at first when they, they weren't really seen that much and then you could ask when you started talking to them and they're perfect and they're all fine and then they start getting that attention mm-hmm. and that attention starts coming in and builds their ego up and then they just are like oh i can do this this and this and it don't matter like mm-hmm. i can treat you however i want now and that's where it's like they get you at first because they're not they're just they just change into a completely mm-hmm. different person when they get all that attention it affects some people i'm not saying it affects all people mm-hmm. but it definitely affects some people it I doesn't think. affect people who have a healthy mind and yeah have, i think that's where i was gonna go yeah. to you if you have a healthy mind, you have don't have some issues, issues not real, happens. not real issues, but guide issues. Then you're going to probably be okay to people, mm-hmm. regardless of the attention you well, get. Well, and especially it depends. I think age has a lot to do with it because when you first yeah, start I mean, out in college, sure. you're young, you're 21. Like, yeah, you want to yeah. have fun, you want to go experience right. stuff, but you shouldn't have to treat people wrong while no. you're doing that, and just you know be honest. But no, people aren't honest. People, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Something you learn is is people will find a way to justify their behavior no matter mm-hmm. what. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 exactly. and then, and then someday he'll, you know, the person will see that behavior probably wasn't yeah. very good, but oh, I was yeah. a dumb 21 it. year, you know, right. I, and I wish I wouldn't have done that to that person. Or I wish I would have been more mature. Oh, yeah. And it's like, you'll know that, but by the time they realize that you're not going to well, want no, to repair it. And, and at this point, and yeah. that's like kind of the beauty of it though. Right. If you think but they might it. not change but completely. Here, There's people that go through their whole life true, and I they guess. never change. And you can't change people. We've talked about that you a million times. No. No, if you go to. into a relationship you and you're it, trying you to get this person to quit smoking or to go to church every Sunday, you're never going to get that. And if you do, it's going to be temporary. And if you do and they don't want to, if they, if they're going to resent They're going to resent you. Well, they might. And that's almost worse. That is worse, I think. If they don't, if they don't stand up for themselves and they do that for you, Eventually, they resent you, resent you for, and then they make m- other mistakes Makes because, like you forced them. yeah, they, they, it's, yeah, yeah, you yeah. just can't change people. You just gotta let them do what they want to do. It, you gotta yeah, accept them how they are. Right. You know what? So, like, I think there's nuance to that. You know, so there's new. Remember, wasn't that our word last 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 time? There was it nuance. I thought it was therapize. Therapize. Yeah, but that was new. But nuance is a real <laughs> word. nuance is a real word You're that right. people so me, use regularly. Yes, yeah, so I feel yeah. like I feel like that is the is the thing the cliche to say, which like there is so much truth to that. However, I think there's nuance to everything. I think that like me caveat, it's like, maybe not try to. Ch- it's like yeah, you are trying to change people when you know that like they're doing something that is like reckless and not right like that is like a standard does that hold them accountable though well but there's nuance what do you mean yeah what do you mean by nuance that there's like i really don't know what. okay so like when i say that there's nuance there's that means there's just like more to this more complex like it's it's like there's different situations yeah like there's different levels yeah for every person there's a different what i mean by that is that like you know, for like a certain person, you you want to be there for them, and when you start seeing that behavior, you want to you you want to let them know that they're that they're portraying behavior that is counter to the person they probably want to be. You know, so like, yeah, you're trying so, to help them kind of be there yes, for them in a way. So that but is but they've got to want you. Love they've got to want maybe. you to. They they have to, but like still, I think that that doesn't mean you can't talk to them about it. And you know, no, no, right. you absolutely can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I, I agree. think that. I think that there is a we're responsible as friends or as like loved ones, as family members or whatever. We're responsible to have those difficult conversations to at least try to be there and guide. Because yeah. like when we said when I was saying that like you know it takes a healthy mind to not develop those evils. Still, a healthy mind can be poisoned by the ego of the fame and right. the numbers and all that stuff. And but it's like you need to have like people around you that you trust and that you you need to have that infrastructure within yourself to listen and to be vulnerable and to hear people Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so i think that like well it's like i still think that like yeah don't try to change people no we do need to when they're acting the fuck up we do when when they are but here's i think what jeff is saying it's more in a relationship way yeah but i think i think that you can't really change people and how they act yeah like 
not necessarily like when they're doing like bad things like you know mm. i think that, i definitely agree with you like i think that that people do need to but you can only tell them so many times though like you can tell them how it reasonable is, and then, yes. like it gets to a point where you really can't help them anymore you really can't change somebody it gets to a point where you just well, it gets to a point where you have to worry about your, you have to think about yourself too, and be a protector of your peace. Because like it's like you're you're allowing your peace to be overrun with chaos when you're being there for someone. But I still think that your peace you shouldn't always be living life in peace. Yeah, you need to be there for yourself. You, you well, no, need to absolutely be there for not. People. I mean, we're not letting saying let anybody get away. With I, I'm just I yeah. think what you were saying initially because we've had this conversation before, and I think that's why I know what he's thinking is you can't change somebody into being somebody that you want them to be. So, for instance, I cannot stand yes. people who chew tobacco. I think it's disgusting. I think it's gross. I think it's nasty, and that would be a deal breaker <laughs> for me. Mm-hmm. So I. I can't if you you know if I'm with him, if I meet him and I start dating him I'm like oh crap he'd choose tobacco that's disgusting but I can make him stop I can make him stop no you can't uh, not yeah. if they don't want to now if he comes to me and says okay yeah, I really do want you to help me with this will you please help me I would that's do exactly really what I'm but saying but if he looks at me and yeah. says I'm not stopping but in my little mind I'm like oh yes you are I'm mm. gonna make I, you stop I get that. no you but if, but if you're if you're my friend or you're my spouse I think we do build I think it's important to build each other up and to hold each other to the standard. And so if there's an issue or, I mean, she's called me out on things in business, in decisions I make. I'm like, I'm going to do this. And she goes, you can't do, she's not telling me I can't as a spousing, but she's saying, are you sure that's something you should do? Like mm-hmm. you, that doesn't seem that's the right thing to do. And that, that, that doesn't go in line with who you want to be. You know, you know what I mean? That's different, yeah. So I have to say, uh, well, I wanted to do it. You know, I, I thought that better me, it's better for me, so I wanted to do it. But then she holds me accountable. Yeah, I mean, I think that's different. It's not really changing me, though. I mean, no. I, don't, I don't, when I, when I, I like think of changing some, wise. when I talk mm-hmm. about changing someone, I'm talking about Her a habits. core Hurt that they're built into who you are. Okay, another good you, example. Who you, the way yeah, you walk, talk, yeah. your fundamental belief system. I don't. You're Muslim. Well, if you marry me, we're going to change you. I'm not going to change you yet. We'll get married. Then I'll make you become. Yeah, a but Christian. you can't. Here, here's right. a good example. Everybody knows Jeff's sense of humor. If you know mm-hmm. Jeff and you know Jeff in a personal way, and, and I thank you for my sense of humor. He, he has, welcome. and you know this. He has a a different sense of humor. If I didn't like that, and going in, I knew his sense <laughs> of humor, and I was like, I cannot stand. Like I really can't deal. But I'll I'll make it stop. <laughs> I'll make it stop. Yes. I can't, so, that's just like just what I said the at the beginning. Example, I think. At the beginning, because I said I try, I can't tame him. <laughs> well, I don't mean that in a negative. No, it's a, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. That's the best example because that is that is a core. That's like a core representative core that, characteristic yeah. of who you are. They can't really, yeah. really change. Right, and and like a religion aspect. So I think that even there's a little more nuance to the religion thing mm-hmm. because some people are willing to like you know sure. you can find common ground. Sure. But when it comes to like how you interact with people Mm -hmm. you know like from like from a stance of like your sense of humor and all that stuff that is something deeply rooted yeah like like i'm a control freak and he knows i'm a control freak and i need to be in control i need to have things and And he knows that for me and he knows that and if he tried to change that (laughs) me it's not going to work now if i came to him and said i realize that i'm a control freak and i really want to tone it down and i really want to work on kind of letting go which i've done before to him with certain situations then i think he needs to step in and hold me accountable to that yeah of course but if i'm not willing to that and like that's who i am you know mm-hmm. i've always i've always ever since i was little i've had guy best friends he's known that if he tried to change that and me and say no you can't have guy best friends that's not gonna work yeah, it's well. just not gonna work mm-hmm. you know yeah and something um, isn't it weird? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Why don't you go no, first? no. I, I think that I think that this is good. We're talking this out because it's a it's a communication thing about changing well, people. We all so have I, I like where you're at. Like I get it. You, we were at a whole. We're at two different spectrums. I think everybody's making on points. changing, but that's somebody. The nuance, right? That's right. the new one. I get right. where you're going with it, and so we're all using specific examples, which I think we all. Mm-hmm. agree on most of them mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but go ahead what were you gonna say well no i was just gonna say i think it's weird like uh you that some people like because like we can we can think and we can assume when we talk to certain people that we there are like certain things that we can all kind of agree on to an extent 
But then there are people who are the outliers that like you would expect them not to like something, but for some reason they do. And some reason they're unable, they're uneven, they're unable to even um, admit to themselves they do. Like, for example, you saying you may not like guy, he may not like guy friends or something. Not not right now, but like a hypothetical. Uh -huh. But and you're like, that would be a deal breaker because I don't want to be controlling that may, that right, way. Right. And we would assume that majority of people wouldn't want to be. And it might be, a right. d but it might be a deal breaker on the other end. It might be like, ah, she's friends with guys and I can't deal with that. So I'm not even right. going to date her. I'm not going right. to act like I'm okay with it, so right? So say it up front instead of pretending right. like you are. I'm not going to act then like later, it. And then, yeah. <laughs> then after we get together, I'll be like, every time you go out or you do something, I got to act like I'm upset. I make your life miserable. Right. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, and and what I mean is like there there are people in the outlier that like actually absolutely feed on that. They're like, they like they do. like to have that someone wanting to control them. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. Isn't it so, isn't that it is so true. interesting how yeah, like there are some people that there's yeah. people that like to they be controlled comforted. and some love to be controlled and some yeah. love to control. And then they'll have the audacity to be like, oh my god, I want to complain about it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I want you to shut your whole ass up. Yeah. Because well, we you, talked you know about, you like it. we yeah. talked, that's a whole thing we talked about with people. And we fortunately rarely have dealt with this. And I think it's a key to successful relationship, whether you're a friend or not, is putting up with shit. And the other person doesn't know you're putting up with it. Mm hmm. And then you complain to other people about it yeah, just or like you, what you were build saying. resentment. You're saying the same thing. People do it in relationships all the time. They complain. I have, why are you, you, you know, you see men and women both train their partner to be a way they don't want them to be. Mm -hmm. You know, women sometimes will completely for years baby and feed and fix four course meals and do the laundry and then all of a sudden six years later they're getting divorced and it's because he's a son of a bitch that never does the laundry and he never he wants me to fix dinner every night but when you got married you said i'm gonna fix my baby dinner every night mm -hmm. he's been trained to, to come home and there's that's not fair to a person no you have to tell people or you else you'll have resentment. to say okay i did love doing this i don't anymore yeah, right. But, but like, here's the thing: it's like instead of being so specific, it's gonna just be very broad. It, where you it were can leading be broad, yeah. is communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's one thing that needs to be taught with like relationship building is how important communication should be embedded in that relationship. Mm -hmm. It must be. I think it's the most important. It really aspect. is, it and is. it's hard to be sure. very vulnerable and honest. Right. It's so hard, and that's a skill set. It's that's very Difficult to to, to teach. Well, that's what people ask us a lot all the time because we have been together since we were 15. We broke up once for 30 minutes in college. I thought it was serious. He got his CDs out of my car and I was like, oh my gosh, he took his music. It must be oh, over. Oh. Right? All of it. I called my mom and everything. She was on her way eight hours to come visit me in college because I was so upset. And then we got back together 30 minutes later and I forgot to call oh, her. Oh, she came all the she way. Was, well, she my didn't come. She didn't so drive. Bad. No, she didn't drive. She she was getting ready to leave and I called her. She was like, I would, you mean you're back together? I stayed up all night worried. I packed my suitcase. Well, anyway, so people ask us all the time, like, what is what is your opinion on, on a successful relationship? And communication is always, we say always communication. You You have to be best friends with your partner you really and you need have to be, to be able friends. to have fun together and laugh together if you we always say we always make the example if you win a trip to go anywhere in the world and you can take one person if you're not thinking that you're your partner then mm, you, i would never think anybody else than him like if, it's, if something good yeah. well but but you're but my bestie is him he okay, is my best. Yeah, it's if literally I got like a, a band, I'm still gonna have my best. Okay, but I mean, for once you're in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he is. All my I'm saying bestie. is, I don't do so it because then I when have I get to. A trip, do I pick pick my man or my bestie? Probably my bestie. But she my, will be the one. But that's my there for bestie me if is wrong. my man. But what if you had another bestie? And then I do you have another bestie. I mean, I guess that's not oh, how it works. Oh, I mean, I know what you're you. saying. But what if your bestie was first and then you got a man? You're gonna pick your bestie. But I don't know. I I guess. My I guess I just got lucky and my bestie is my man. I don't I know. I think yeah, that your you relationship, you got to have, you you might have a bestie that's outside that and you may do stuff or take, you know. Sure. Like trips for different things. Sure. Too. No, too. I'm just like saying. If I'm no, going to go mean, to the like Super Bowl, to, I, I mean. You're not going to take me to the Super Bowl. I don't want to go. Point. I'm going to say, yeah. take, yeah. take yeah. somebody. Depend, that, I feel right. like it also depends on what the But if somebody says you got a trip to Hawaii, I'm going to be like Andrew going to Hawaii. You know, it's like. Again, nuance. I, I'm, like just, Hawaii, I, that's, I'm just saying in a yeah, yeah, yeah. like Miami, my bestie. Yeah. yeah makes I, I mean, I totally right, get that. Right. Like, he has gotten tickets to go to 
a sporting event and I'm like, I don't want to get like, I, what? I'm not going to appreciate that ticket at all. Because I think it's just an example of the they they got to be someone you love to be around. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. my point. I think Sorry, I mean, the people the people that don't want to go home at the end of the day. Yeah, that's bad. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine not wanting to come in. And I know people. Oh, I know that, they're a, miserable. If you're if you're that not you don't, to come that home you got to go home day, because she or he is going to gripe at you, or they're going to be like you. You know, if you, you don't do like this, this, relax. and this, you can't sit down. You can't relax. You got to feel like if you freaking, you know what I mean. Yeah. It, that's yeah. A, that yeah. that would that's that would be the worst. Like your right. best part of your day is being away from them, even though it's like work exactly. Or like, it's like I think I'm going to work an extra that is, two like hours. Your, your favorite place to be is work, but it's really not mm-hmm. your favorite place to be. Yeah, and you have to. That's why I mean, our goal of every day. Well, I mean, one of our goals of every day is to to get anything we need to get done with the kids, with the house, with whatever, and have at least a couple of hours to sit in here by ourselves. We've done it. For as long as you can probably remember, we're always in the evenings, six nights out of seven, really seven out of seven most of the time, having time together. There are a lot of couples who are like, when it's their downtime, they're in separate rooms doing separate things, which is okay. If you, you know, yeah, it's okay. I'm just saying like, but I don't need like need to do that every night. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, sure. It's okay. If he wants to go downstairs and watch a game and I'd rather watch something up here, that's fine. But if that turns into every single night, something's wrong, something's not right. Like you're growing apart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's where, especially if you didn't start out that way, if you start out that way, it's, that's a different story. Of course. Yes. That's really funny that you said that. And I've always said, um, I even share with this with people on the stream. I was like, I, if, if I, well, I mean, if, and when I find someone that, I'm ready to be with. I was like, I want us to have separate bedrooms. <laughs> Do you Listen, really? I love sleeping alone. Like, I'm not even kidding. I yes, love sleeping alone. Uh, that's like, so yes. that's yes. different for me. So, okay, what's your what is your reason? I just move okay. around a lot. I just love it. Yeah. So, well, okay. So, like, then again, I've never had a serious relationship. Okay. Fair never. enough. That's fair. So, so maybe maybe that could change. You know, because this is my reality now without that being introduced. Right. So, you however, get used to it. Yeah, maybe so. Because I that happened to me whenever I was at when we stayed with each other every single night. I got used to it. And I actually liked it. And whenever it, it wasn't happening more, it was hard. But then I got used to sleeping by myself again, and now I love it again. Yeah. So, so maybe it's like once you find that person, it's like that overrides it's worth that. It. It's worth so, it. So there's like, also emotional and physiological things that happen. Of course. Right. Like, I'm not even saying sex. I'm saying there's stuff underlying that of is course. unexplainable. It makes you want to. It's kind of like just, the, when you start, because you can't think of it now. Now you'd be like, oh, I want to I wanna sleep alone. No, if you really love somebody and you're really, you wouldn't want to sleep alone. If you really love somebody and you really feel that way towards them, I don't think you'd. Maybe. This one, but what is your reasoning maybe. though? Like, okay. what, tell me your reason. Like, okay. Is there a, so this is my reasoning. So like. And when I say that, I, I you gotta text your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say that, it's like I I, I don't want to count out like that. I may like that. I I, I never want to sleep with that person. Like share that night with that person. It's like I like the uh, the idea that we can be strong enough to say, hey, I just want to like have my space tonight and just like chill out but like some nights i want us to sleep together and have that that the night together. only problem about that is when y'all want that at different times uh, which is ve- that is very insightful you're right that's a very that's why you gotta that's have the, little things the to hang thing. on that the would door be the biggest thing about it i think mm-hmm. and yeah. that would cause a fight with like you're like wanting your space and he's like <laughs> yeah you know? yeah so it's like it's I, about I want when y'all space. don't want it at the same time yeah that's the, that's but then the again, it's like it's us. communication. Relationships aren't supposed to be fully. It's like okay, there there are people that you you come in contact with in life, and relationship building with that person is so easy because you just click. But at the same time, it's like if you're constantly communicating, you're constantly finding things that like you're at odds with. But there's always a solution. There's always a solution. Mm-hmm. But it takes it takes patience and it takes willingness to want to mm-hmm. iron out those things. And I'm sure there's a solution, there's but it's be. like, do you want to continue to go through that and figure it out? Or, and is the other part, your other partner willing to, to go through these things and figure these things out too? You can well, always have separate beds in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an example. I mean, like, this is an example of what we were just talking about, where if you do get in that situation, you do become serious with someone, you would talk to them and have communication about it. And is that person going to be like, okay, that's fine for now. But in, in his head, he's like, 
I'll change that. Oh, I'll change that. I'll yeah. change that. I'll change that. I'll change that. that. Yeah. Well, no, because that's kind of what, then when you, you get know frustrated what I mean? when it doesn't change. Right. So that's, it kind of circles back into that. You can't change people. And if that's just what you want and he's okay with it at the beginning, you well, can't really not be okay, be okay with okay it later. With it? You know what I mean? Yeah. You, so. Yeah. I know. And here I am going with my definition of change. I'm like, there's some people that know. feel that same way though. Mm-hmm. It's just people. There's also some people that would lie about it. Well, I think that says. like for me, it's like, and that comes down to like, when I do find that person that I'm supposed know. to be with, is that like their characteristics, like how, how they operate through life and mm-hmm. you know, how they interact with people. I want someone very open-minded that's very willing to have that communication that they're, they're willing to like get upset and iron it out and find solutions. Yeah. One thing that I cannot stand now that I'm like working on my own content and building my brand, one thing I've like, so for example, I hire people to like edit videos or something and I've constantly been hiring people who are amateurs that just want to do it. And they're like, yeah, I really want to do this. And like, I'm like, okay, well I'm investing in you to do this. And then once they get into it and there's expectations that I need this shit, Mm -hmm. like they fall off. They're like, this isn't what I thought. And now it's like expectations. And I'm like, I'm fucking waiting for this shit. I Mm -hmm. need it. Like Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so like how it is. I'm like, let's communicate and find solutions. And they'll say, oh, I can't do that. Like, I can't, I don't know how to, I can't do that. I'm like, okay, stop telling me you can't. Let's find a solution Mm -hmm. to come to me and say, this is the problem. I don't know how to, how to fix this. But like right now, I don't think I have the, I I don't think I'm capable of this. What can we do? Don't come and say, I can't Mm -hmm. come to me and say, Let's find a solution. Let's to figure fix it this. out. Yeah. And that's one thing with like my career with professional relationships mm-hmm. that I really struggle with because I want to get real angry and I want to go off and like, stop fucking telling me can't tell me let's fix like mm-hmm. solutions. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm very solution oriented. Because if you talk yeah, about it too. a lot of times, there's a solution. There always, yeah, always is one way. Some of those solutions you might not like. It might be severing something. It's some compromise, it, some compromising. Well, yeah, for sure. You compromise. Yeah, if you're not willing to compromise, you're then, yeah, you're you gonna got, be a miserable person, right? Because mm-hmm. it can't always go your way 100. No, percent You, no. especially in relationships, you're gonna have to compromise sometimes. Oh 100%. yeah, but it should not oh, always yeah. be on yeah. one person's side nope. or the other person's. You got to compromise in the middle. You might not right. like it, but it, that doesn't mean that the other person gets every everything that they want mm-hmm. right it's give and take their... yeah for sure yeah and it's interesting and there's, there's and i wonder like that's how... controlling too. yeah exactly if, if it's if you don't if you're not willing to compromise you're, con- you're trying to control somebody and that's an issue too and, and that can transcend just personal into professional as well mm-hmm. and yeah. i wonder how you all feel about that because a lot of these characteristics do go into professional relationships mm-hmm. like sure. how, how do you all feel about like the about like some of the characteristics that um are that surface in personal relationships that you think that are like that also translate to professional relationships have you have you had that like what do you mean so like for example you see like because like you you may not know someone's home life Mm -hmm. but you're like you interact with them professionally you're like he's really trying to like he's he's and now i'm using controlling but like that's like an easy one to go to he's trying to control the landscape of everything to benefit him or to tailor to like how he's inter- he wants to see things he's not trying to like compromise so you, you mean has that happened in your work yeah like and and then you see it play out and you're like wow i wonder what his real his personal home it like. has for me 100 percent because i used to work for attorneys Mm. so talk about trying to be controlled that. trying to be controlled yeah. and like yeah for oh, yes. sure um yeah and controlled by what because i almost think about the other side of the, the things i don't respond to in the workplace that i don't respond to in relationships and it's because of how the experience i've had in the past is being controlled by certain tactics like manipulation or guilt guilt's mm. a big one for me oh, if you try that. to guilt me Forget I it. shut down. I don't care I, if I'm if I'm guilty, but I have people that'll do that, and it's opposite for me. 
Mm -hmm. I'd be like, it's don't don't pull that shit with me. Like I'm not gonna. Yeah, well, you can't guilt me into just feeling bad. Well, people will also take advantage of your kindness too, and they'll take advantage like, oh, she's not gonna say nothing, or oh, she's not gonna do nothing about it. So they'll run over you, walk all over you. They'll think it's easy if you don't stand up for yourself. They're gonna do it, and that happens in relationships too. If you don't stand up for yourself in relationships, they're going to take advantage of you. It's if if they see if they see that you're okay with something, they're gonna keep doing that to you. If they see that you keep going back after they're doing something they're like oh i can do that then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah absolutely it's just so easy. if it benefits them if you know you're going to walk by somebody every single day and if you just all you have to say to them is can i have five dollars and they give you five dollars what's going to stop you from asking them for that five dollars every time you walk by them mm-hmm. nothing because they've allowed it to be easy it all goes back to dr phil you teach people how to treat you that's true true i love that so i love that too. i have a i have a story that i don't know how it 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 um, relates to this but i know that it does some way so i have a friend and this is actually pretty juicy uh, i'm juicy? looking over at people over here because they whoever's there i'm juicy's sure, your friend stop. see what i mean someone <laughs> out there will likely know where i'm going with this because i've not talked about it publicly and it's something there's some drama mm. on facebook right now mm. yes with a friend of mine and it, it's it's like okay, isn't it really like cancel culture? People are like, oh my god, you use that term. Oh, I hate it's it. It's negative that you even use the term, and what it's like term? shut up because it is cancel culture. So like, there's some, one of my friends, and where I'm going to go with this is like how how you how how you use forgiveness in relationships. I'm going to tie in there and get your all's opinion. So this is what a friend did. So he his name is Anthony Burns, and um, shout out. Yeah, shout out. Motivation motivation burns. Motivational burns. He's a, a streamer. He is a friend of mine. He's been a friend of mine for over a year. And he has popped the fuck off this year. Like his numbers have just fucking gone crazy um out of nowhere. And I don't know. It's possible that a little of it's gone to his head. And and it goes to that where like your head can be poisoned. And you don't even know it's happening. Right. And you it, don't even know that it's changing you. For yes. Real. And it takes people to and point you can that tell out. That too. When it's when you can, you can tell when somebody has changed and like they're letting it get to them and they don't really realize it and they're genuinely just not aware. Right. So I, I feel like I failed him because there, there were moments that I had gone to, into a stream and I saw him using some language and I was just like, God, I really don't fucking like that. And I, I really did leave. So it's not like I w- I'm saying it just to say, oh, like I didn't like it after the fact. No, I really did leave. I was like, I don't like that, mm-hmm. you know? And like I was disappointed and I, I failed him by not telling him, by having that difficult conversation of being like, you you did this, you operated this way and I, and I didn't tell you. Because maybe he's thinking like people like that and he's just feeding into it. And so as a friend, I failed him there. However, he's just kind of intensified those traits mm-hmm. as he's gotten bigger. Well, what happened is there's another streamer on the platform. Um, his name is called Skidly Skip. And this guy's really, he's really sweet. He's older like us. Like in our, his, I think I think he's like early 30 like me or late 20, something like that. And he's always sweet. He comes by, he showed me love and he always shows me love. Like we, mm-hmm. we have a great relationship. I have a lot of respect for him. Well, mm-hmm. Anthony Burns got killed by him on the stream, mm-hmm. like uh, on the game. And um, he went on this tirade. He was like, he's like, this motherfucker, all this. He just went crazy. Just like. Because he got killed? Yes. Sounds like he's weak. He shouldn't have have got killed. Oh, shut up. Just listen. I know. But you can't hate when people blame other people because they can't, they don't game up. Okay, that's not the point of the story. That's not. If somebody beats you in basketball. Well, it's a little bit. It's a little bit of the point. But I don't but like you're, that. But you're sorry. You Am I jumping the gun? You're jumping yeah, the gun. Yeah, listen to the story. You're jumping the gun. I like jumping. So, the gun. like, I know. So the thing is, is that he he skiddly got the best of him, and Anthony went on this tirade because it, it, the thing is, is when you're live and you're playing these games, you get very emotional. It, you do because I, I get it. Yeah. here's the thing too: is in Fortnite specifically. As as the number of people die and it gets closer to the end of the game, your algorithm goes up. Mm. You start getting more numbers. It is de- it is absolutely a thing, one thousand percent proven. Um, it's not just a bias thing or nothing at all. It's like it is a thing, and so like you get a, and when you're really trying, like you're zoning and you're really trying, it's a, it's hard 
to lose and you see all the people lose and you're like, well, fuck, there goes my algorithm. There I go from like maybe 200 down to like 90 people. Mm -hmm. And that, it happens like that. Mm -hmm. So like you get really in and, and like your passion comes out. And so it's understandable that you get heightened in that moment. So like I'm giving him a little bit, I'm giving a little bit of credence in that fact because I even get angry. I, mm -hmm. I just like really, really focus hard to not show that. Mm -hmm. You know, I like I like reprogram myself to be like, okay, I like start reading a comment to get me out of it because uh -huh. I do get pissed. Yeah, I be like because like I worry about numbers. Yeah. So Anthony went on this tirade and he was just going too much. And he was just saying, Skidley, suck this dick and all this shit. And in front of, I don't know how he weighed 100, 900 people, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, all these people. And he's just going in. He's like, these motherfuckers out here, low life streamers, been streaming forever and not fucking, uh, not getting anywhere. Low life pieces of shit. They come into your chat and they'll say, oh, I didn't know it was you, man. Oh, fuck this shit. He was going in. It was not good. Uh, yeah. It was bad. That's kind of ugly. It was ugly. It was fucking ugly. Yeah. But here's where I'm going with this is now. On the flip side, Skilly made this video about it and exposed him. And everyone went for Anthony Burns. Everybody. Really? It has, it has ruined his relationships with people that he would expect to be there and all this stuff. And me and Anthony Burns was already kind of like not talking that much. We were already distant because of some things that I have not addressed here. And I'm not going to yet. But, um, and like, I felt bad for him. But I was like... You reap what you sow. You did do this fucking shit. You did, and that was not okay. However, however, it's, I think that right now in our day and age with like these situations with people being able to document what you're doing in that whole moment, it is so hard to go in there and be, you know, unbiased when you see wrong happening. Mm -hmm. But at the, but like when you don't see it and we're all just talking about forgiveness and redemption, most part, we can all agree that people deserve second chances. Well, absolutely. Sure. They deserve absolutely. redemption and all these things. But when you're seeing it and it's so visceral and so real in front of you, it diminishes that aspect. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to come back from that and be like, so, so it's like, I guess where I'm tying this in is like when someone commits something that you would consider to be an atro like um, atrocious behavior, how do you come back from that? How do you get, how do you forgive them? Because for him now, Anthony, now we ha he's reached back out to me. When I was sick, he was like texting me every other day. He's like, how are you? And I was being a little distant to him because I was pissed that he abandoned me because mm -hmm. I was always there for him. And this, this ties back to you saying that like, you have to um, stand up for what you believe in because right. with what happened while we became distant because of someone else is because you're going to know how I feel. I'm going to tell you how I feel. I don't care if that means our relationship is ruined. You'll know how I feel because that's important to creating a strong relationship that will be sustainable and weather bullshit. Mm -hmm. It'll wet it, it, that that shit. It'll it will survive mm -hmm. if you are always honest, even with hardship. That's true. Because there'll be respect. It's that's like true. all right, exactly. he ain't fucking telling me bullshit, and then going around and, and changing his exactly. fucking mind. The yeah. trust he doesn't get me. broken. The trust doesn't yeah. get broken. Once mm -hmm. the trust is broken, it's over and done with. Yeah. No yes. matter how long you let it prolong for. Yes. If you don't trust somebody, you can't be with them. Exactly. So like there were instances in this situation, and then he up and fucking left because he didn't want to be in a situation either and he just wasn't around. He didn't ever do anything bad, bad to me, but he wasn't fucking there and my numbers are tanking mm -hmm. because of whatever. So like I did need him mm -hmm. and he wasn't there for me. Mm -hmm. So now he's going through this and everybody's fucking turning back on him, calling him out, people who don't even fucking know him, saying like this is all awful, 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 whatever. And he's reaching out to me and I was like, he's re it's funny he's reaching out to me now. Mm-hmm. But I'm okay to forgive that because I, I'm just okay to do it. Yeah. Like, I under, I understand. And it's like, if we want to push people, this is the thing, is the change. Me changing how I say changing people. To be a leader it, from, where, from what I'm doing, to be a leader on this platform, you have to go where people do not fucking want to go. Mm, yeah. and, and I'm willing to go there and talk about this because no one's talking about this shit right now. No one wants to say forgive Anthony Burns right now. Because people are going to fucking come for you. They're like, oh, you think, Aunt, so you okay with that? Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't you get canceled, lead. right? You have to lead and say, there is chance for forgiveness and redemption. You have to leave that open. But my thing is, is how, how do you incorporate that for 
for people in those relationships when when it's so visceral it's like it's happening to them when you're watching that video it's like it's happening to you you're right it's oh so yeah gross. yeah but but like I know him. Well, people I love the, the good. people love to hate. People they do, love especially the negative. because he's doing well. And if you give oh, a yeah. reason, if you're doing well, and people and it, they give you a reason. And the the other thing is is is, I think if you're in that position, you've got to you can you can point it out or try to change his behavior. But at some point, some people just have to fall. Mm-hmm. So they can humble themselves, and then that's yes. where they get the forgiveness. And that's what I, I mean. I, I'm I'm all about forgiveness. I believe it's 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 more important for you than for him, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Because for you to keep hating and not forgive somebody just destroys your inner. Yeah. So you've got to you've got to forget. You don't have to be around them. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to be in a relationship with them. But you forgive, but you don't forget. You don't forget. No, but you don't forget. You don't. But I mean, forget, is but. he? The thing is, is in these cases, it, as he humbled himself, I, I hear he's reaching he out. As he said, "I did a stupid thing. I'm an idiot." Yes, or whatever. I should have never done that. Well, then I say you forgive the guy. Yeah, but you I have know. to be ready to forgive. Don't don't say you forgive me if, if you don't. You really don't. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah you're you right. Yeah. You're right. You can forgive somebody, and it and it's like when you apologize. So say you're you're the one that's apologizing. For instance, you're apologizing to someone. They're like, oh, I forgive you, but then they're treating you different. Yeah, I don't like. They're that. not treating yeah. you the same as they were treating you. They well, were, I think they don't really forgive you. If they really forgive you, they wouldn't. There's treat work you to be done, and that's the problem. Is people say they forgive, but they 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 haven't fixed the issues that they have, and they keep bringing it back I, up. I feel like you need to do that first, though. I feel like you need to do all that communication and all that fixing first right, before you right. can just forgive somebody mm-hmm. and things oh, yeah. get back to normal. You can't forgive somebody. If someone apologizes to you, you can't forgive them and act like everything's okay and then just start treating them different. You got to be like, you got to say what's on your mind. You have to talk about that situation. If someone apologizes to you and you're not ready to forgive them, be like, well, I need some time. I appreciate I the apology, but right. I need, yeah. right. need to talk about it in more depth. Like I'm not ready to forgive you yet. Because you can't like, be just honesty. And you can't point. be bringing it back up. Like, remember when, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to bring this up when you've made me mad or when you've wronged me. You know what I mean? Because if you do that, I feel like you haven't really forgiven that person. No, you haven't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You haven't really forgiven that person. If you've forgiven someone, you're not going to use that against them. Yeah. Yeah, And I wonder too, if, because like I'm taking this to a personal place and not leaving it as broad as what we had when we entered the conversation. But I'm curious because it's, it's just so relevant right now. That like how how would you all think about this? So say say Skidley say Skidley does not want to forgive him. It's okay for him to not want to because absolutely feeling sure. that way yeah. in front of all those people. I can fucking understand it needing time. Mm-hmm. That may need time. Yep. You talked about me like that for fucking what? Like fuck you. You know what I mean? It's definitely. I get time. that. You know. But at the same time, it's like does does that person's hurt? Does that person hurt to also define how other people should feel about the situation too? If that other person is showing willingness to to be sorry. But do you mean like people that like... Are well, because what's happening to him right now, and, and I'm not defending or attacking. So it may seem like I'm defending and or anything. I'm not. I'm just curious. Is that like um, right now, he's, he's getting so much hate. And a lot of people, a lot of that, a lot of the hate is deserved. Mm-hmm. But to an extent, if the person is willing to show, like, man, I'm I'm going to put these changes in effect, and I'm really changing. I'm really trying. I learned from that. I'm humbled. I'm sorry. Forgive me. How does the person who he perpetrated the act to? Um, how does that influence how we feel about? It? Because, like I said, when now that it's documented and we see it, and we, it's like we feel it like it happened. That's intimate. How does that affect everybody else's response? Well, I think one, it's going to be very difficult because you're you. It's it's like, oh, you're sorry because you, there's consequences now. You're losing people. Yeah, everybody, you're saying, right. So, oh wow, now you're wow. You the the hateful the the hateful nasty person that was spitting all that stuff with no remorse. Now you're losing everybody. Now everybody hates now you. Now you got to feel bad. Now you're losing money. It's, like, it's also, now you're reaching out to now me. You're losing also, money. Now you're but saying hey, sorry to me. But right. hey, some of these people so, might really genuinely be sorry, but sometimes it's hard to tell when they hey, just you're on top. Like, like if you were the person that was being attacked and you, this person was apologizing to you, 
you got to think what would what would you think in that situation? Would you be like, oh, they're just apologizing to me because like, would you really believe right? Apology? Because they they want the money genuine? back, they want a place right. to live, they want whatever. To, you know what I mean? mean? It's this like this is only in some situations. I mean, some situations don't have to deal with like. I think in these this kind of situation like though, this kind of situation you got to think like, are they just apologizing to me because of that they're losing all this? And I think in this situation, the only thing that's going to fix it, he's going to have to take the hit, and he's going to have to. It's going to be a while. Mm-hmm. before he gets time. people back mm-hmm. and it's probably not going to be the same people because some people go that we got to see his raw emotion we got to see who he really is mm-hmm. and and i'm not saying this because I, I have, really really I have no maybe i'm saying so, what people see i'm saying what people see and the majority of people like they don't know they don't the know majority of people know, when so they, they it's know other than what they freaking see. what algorithms run on mm-hmm. is negative facebook oh, sure. is known sure their whole model is targeting people with stuff they don't like to make them argue and fight and they're making millions off of people just not liking things shout out to facebook game god damn like he just <laughs> ripping my partner apart <laughs> listen honey listen facebook that, like, that ain't me <laughs> i'm he just saying <laughs> i'm talking about all the platforms if they want interaction they got to get the politics going they got to get all the freaking people fighting over stuff they gotta get two sides and they gotta get everybody hating but, but, i don't blame them though it makes it interesting it does make it interesting but here's my point about <laughs> and i'm not involved. trying to i always like to play devil's advocate a little bit i don't know either of these guys don't even know if i saw him but what i'm saying is he pops off he could have act out of anger though is that because you know him? I don't know. Is that who he really is, or did he just make a bad mistake? And that's my point, though, that people that don't know him personally won't know. Right. That's just what they're seeing. They don't know him personally. So what they're if he's jumping. Genuinely shit. sorry, he acted out of anger. They weren't, aren't going to know that because that's not what they saw. Right. E- exactly. exactly. Yes, but that's why he's losing all those followers and all those people. Because right. Yeah, but the problem is, is that like, is that this is this is a new age that we're in that it takes it's like these these things being documented that usually happen you know behind the scenes or Mm -hmm. in the space that where where it's organic and that's it and then we have to hear about it and then we formulate our opinions but when it's so visceral and so real and it's welcomed into your life like it's like it's it's like a form of entertainment a form of content that like then it 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 it's it become it transcends to something that is new, mm-hmm. and it's hard to have these conversations because when you go back to it, you can just replay it and be like, "God, that's so evil." And it's like then you can maybe hear him say something, or maybe you you don't even go to his stream to see that he's apologizing, right. or right. to see his hurt, right. or to see his compassion and all that. You don't even go to see it because you already made a decision, right? And now this conversation is done. We, we, we've had this conversation, Jeff and I have a lot, because I'm about to um, admit to a guilty pleasure. I love reality TV. Reality <laughs> is in quotes, okay? House House I love, Atlanta, like, honey. Vanderpump Rules is amazing. I love all these things. And I know it's reality, like, maybe a little bit scripted. A little scripted yeah, a little sure. scripted. But oh, what yeah. I'm saying, my point is, is that sometimes we get so wrapped up into these people, because they are real, but they're also yeah. characters, and we get so mad at them. And so upset and so offended by what they did. But the cameras are on. The money's rolling. Are they like that when they're home behind the closed doors with their kids? We don't know. You know what I mean? Even though I follow these people on Instagram, yes, I admitted that. And I see their stories and stuff. They're so different even on their stories than they are on the show. But yet, is is that even real? Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So my point is... Is we don't know this guy. Well, I, mean, I don't. I don't know this guy. Period. But do do any of these people who are so ticked off the, the the victim of the thing? Yes, he deserves every right to be ticked off. I'm talking about the people who are reacting to what they saw. Mm-hmm. Do they have a right to really be like that? Because we don't know what he's no, like behind closed right. doors. Does he? We don't know. Like he I'm, made a I'm mistake. Admit, though, like for sure. I'm gonna admit though. Online, when I see drama and I see stuff, I always pick a side. But like in real life, though, like when I know people, I don't. If I'm friends with two people and they're fighting, I'm not gonna take sides. But here's the thing: yeah. is I don't want to hear that. 
I don't want to hear that way you what the second part. I want to hear the first part because I want to see how your mind works when you're always picking a side. How does it how cuz that oh, is what it's about part. the first part like online. Yeah, you because said you I always pick a side. People. I don't know the people so exactly. it's like whatever. But this is the thing with him that applies. It's that's applicable not the second part. That the second I'm, part I'm is applicable. Opinion, I'm a very opinionated person. I yes. believe in things so I don't it's never me to pick sides just naturally. Right, but listen, this is the thing is how like these situations I'm talking about make us very opinionated. The, and make Make us yeah. want to stand our ground to that opinion. So, what does it take for you to open up to, to to like forgiveness and redemption and stuff? Mm-hmm. What does it take? That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I like what there's you said, no Ty. investment, right? I mean, there's no real investment in these mm-hmm. people, so it's easy to bail on them if yeah. things go south. Sure, I mean, if it, yeah, that's very it's true. Easy. Like, what it's if, easy. What if, what it's if, not not his, like it's it's really, not like yeah. you guys get into a heated thing, and uh, I'm you know. What if one of his uh, I don't know cousins was on there? I mean, what, even though that said cousin might be like, wow, cuz that was really bad. Yeah. That was really bad. You know what I mean? What, would he, what, is, what is that person going to think? It's kind of all relative, right? Like, it's very, very much so. I don't know. I mean, I just always like to give people, I, I'm a very open minded person and I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, people <laughs> make too. mistakes. People mess up. Now, is this a habit? Is he, is every stream he's really ripping somebody? Ripping, now, that's character. See, but that's character. What I was gonna say about it is that my point was when I was saying that I make opinions naturally on when I see drama, is that's what those people are doing. They're seeing this one thing, and they're just forming that opinion, and they're just leave it at that. They don't know them, so right. they're just like they're just like it doesn't matter how they are in real life to them. They're right. just they don't they see that one yeah. thing that they don't like, and that's their. opinion. I think that's what Here, you were saying earlier. Here's my thing, and maybe I'm just an old man, but. You are. Yeah, I am, and I've owned some businesses. You've owned they you've owned think, a business. I'm, I'm saying they don't. Here's that here's into it. here's the deal is they don't know them. now now you gotta you gotta look at this. You own this is a business, exactly. Right? It There's is. got to be a a certain level of professionalism, and yes, you've got to understand your platform. You got to understand your business, right? So different businesses have different levels of professionalism, sure, or what the standard is in that industry. Well, in this one, we're learning. Here's some things you just don't do, right? Because like it, because if it gets out, if I have an insurance agency and it gets out and I'm big in the community and it gets out that I'm doing this, I'm going to start losing. No matter what point. the story is behind the scenes, no matter what it is, no matter if I'm right even, I'm going to lose mm-hmm. business. I'm going to lose livelihood because I didn't keep my image right. It's yeah. etiquette and protocol. Because kinda. I didn't control myself. And when you're in, and now I want to say this, because these poor guys like yourself that are streaming, because I've been emotional behind closed doors. I've said things and fights. I've done things that people go, he is a horrible, that is horrible. I can't believe I he would say that. Better, yeah. Right? The problem is, is you have the headset on and you're in, like you said, you're in that tunnel, right? You're in that zone. And I've been there, trust me, playing basketball competitively, sports. I've gotten fights. I've acted ugly. And I've had to apologize to people. But it, but it's a lot easier because guess what? There were 10 guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And they all go, you know, you, you got the best of you. Now you got freaking a thousand people watching yeah, you and yeah. they love the drama right it's mm-hmm. like you throwing throwing meat to lions you give them drama on top of it so is, has there been an apology so there there has and i don't want to really full go into it because i okay. don't i don't know about yeah. how and plus two the some of the things that have been shared with me from both mm-hmm. parties i don't want to put that out sure you yeah. know because it's private but like there right. has been okay. there has been okay um that's all what, i want what i want to do like what i really want to do and what I want to try and convince them to do is I'm like, it, so this ties into what you were saying about like, there's like etiquette basically mm-hmm. right? that like you gotta, re, you gotta act a lot of, a lot of these streams there a lot of, and, and I don't mean this to like attack any streamers whatsoever, but a lot of these streamers are young and, and the culture that comes out of young people being at the top and all this stuff with no life experience. Mm-hmm. No, maybe you know college, maybe no corporate jobs, maybe just all that. It's an interesting culture, mm-hmm. you know. It's an interesting culture, and so etiquette. It's like me coming in. 
I have a lot of life experience. Mm-hmm. I'm 30, so you know, so like I'm in a different li- a different um, phase of life that I can come in and assess these things way differently. Right. You it's, know, and so like they don't need they some people just don't know that like what they're doing is contributing to the negative and hostile. Right, because they're in their infancy. So I can't expect obviously out of my infant granddaughter what i could expect out of a school age child Mm -hmm. so it's kind of the same thing if they're just starting out they're young you have to adapt your expectations according to what stage they're in right exactly you know what i mean mental stage yeah i mean you Mm -hmm. can't it's just like it's like getting mad at a puppy that pees on the carpet yeah it's Mm -hmm. frustrating and you don't like it and you don't want it to happen but you can't really you get mad it. because you got to correct it and teach them. I love that because so like, um, and this is where I'm at. Like I'm like all these people that are coming out the woodwork to just like, ah! I did not. I was mad when I saw it, and I was already mad at Burns because mm-hmm. I, what I felt his abandonment of me as my his friend because I'm always there. Mm-hmm. You can call me, you can text me. I'm always there. Anyone who reaches out to me that I have a relationship with. Right. I'm going to be there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? 100%. Mm-hmm. And he left me. He abandoned me. Mm-hmm. And that fucking pissed me well, off. Yeah, of course. But I still will always show compassion and forgive. Always. Yeah. And But I'm going to speak my peace. As you and should. And I did. As you should. But like at the same time, it's like, I think that like, this is where I'm going is that like um, there needs to be teachable moments. It's it's less about like the ego of, of ourselves and how and what the situations we go through. When we have a following of people, there needs to be some abandonment of ourselves. Mm-hmm. And and there needs to be more like like you have children out here. It's like you're not only living for yourself. Now you're living for them. Oh, yeah. Now it's like I'm no longer living for me. I'm living for my followers, too, sure. because they are watching me. Right. I could have whenever my algo is popping off, I could have 200 people in there easy. Right. Um, so it's like I need to conduct myself. I need to know that. But that is because of my life events that I, under, I, I understand that differently. Mm-hmm. So for me, how I'm going through this, I'm like, there needs to be fucking teachable moments because well, yeah. there's been drama on the, on the platform or everywhere. And it's like it's like people were operating out of egos and less about like how how like that is affecting your communities because now you got communities of, hundreds, of thousands of people that are picking a side becoming strongly opinionated and rooted in their side which i'm not attacking right. you i'm saying it's a real thing because of this I'm documentation just saying it's natural everybody's it is natural. natural it just it's you natural. pick a side when you see the drama you're just like you know secretly in your head you're just like when you're reading it you're like oh that person's making good points right like it's you're natural. like you're thinking of it you're thinking with them and you just like like when you're watching a show you're just like even if you don't want to be on that person's side you know you're like deep down you're naturally on their well, side well i do it all the time like, when i watch the vanderpump mm-hmm. rules it's yeah. natural it's just as natural as it is as a dog pissing in the floor and yeah. now what do you do you teach them Right. It's a teachable moment 100%. to say that is not okay. Right. We have to act and, above our station mm-hmm, right now. Mm-hmm. And, and and you know what I mean? And you might learn pick our... a side naturally, but you not might not say that out loud. Like, right. You know what I mean? You know what you think, but you don't always have to speak on it, mm-hmm. I feel like. Right. You want to say something? You can only teach if you have the authority and respect. You know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. saying... It's a teachable moment, but again, with your dog, you, they, you have their respect, mm-hmm. right? Forced respect. So in order to be taught, you have to respect your right. teacher. Right. You can't, there's nobody that's going to come into, yeah, you can't really that I don't respect. If I don't, if I don't respect taught. you, you're not going to, I don't care if you're right. You're not going to teach me anything. I'm not going to accept if it. If you don't respect them. I don't respect you. I don't know you. You can't right. come and teach, you know what I mean? That's yeah. true. Or I think I'm, and I'm not saying this is me, but I'm saying this is maybe someone who's got a lot of clout in an area with a big ego. You've only got you've only got ten thousand followers. I'm not gonna. I don't care what you say. Mm-hmm. You're not me. You know what I mean. So I think, yeah, the teachable moment. But yeah, man, people how... need to be humbled to get to that. Yes. Right. Yes. Which it sounds like he has been. He has been for humbled. sure. But he's got to be able to accept. Yeah, there isn't. An, an, there isn't. An, it is unfortunate that he's humbled when you know it's like he's he's forced to be forced to be right it's not right. self it's not like he's it's like from friends or like how i said i felt by not like saying that he was doing this shit a long time ago yeah you know it's so like which is cool of you to see both sides because when he wasn't humbled and he was at top he was kind of abandoned you yeah 
you know, and for you to be open to it. And, oh, now you want to, now you want to talk to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's big of you and shows that the quality and the character of, of you as a person, you know, so. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like compliments. <laughs> so, you have to anyway, take compliments. There you go. You got like, you've got to learn to take compliments, buddy. I know. I know. I can't say them. I get awkward. I do too. I, I get awkward. I'm like, I used to be like that. No, I can say, you. all you have to do is say thank you. Now I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Get on my fucking face, bitch. <laughs> fuck yeah. you. Talking about I'm nice and you love me and all that. Motherfucker, fuck you. I don't love you. I don't like you either. <laughs> 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 You're hilarious. <laughs> you have to take compliments. I know, I know, I try. Because if you don't, I, then you I, I, then I you take the blessing res- away from the person who's trying to pay you a compliment. I know, I know. I try to bring humor to it. I I'm like, yeah, I like to I make do. it I obvious like to, that I'm like because it's awkward sometimes depending yeah. on the compliment. You're like, like, thank oh. you. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is where I'm Thanks wanting to go with the situation. So we'll, we can put us to bed and get on. But like where I'm wanting to go, my solution. What I really want to happen is to communicate this to both parties that this can be a teachable moment, not just for themselves, but for like the community and the platform. Mm -hmm. Like think, think big picture that like forgiveness and doing this. So like what I want to do is I want to bring them, me and the two of them play because I I have emotional attachments to both of them. I I like them both. I'm not as close with Skidley, but I'm very, I'm close. I've been close with Burns. So like, I want to bring them both and we all just like play games together live Mm -hmm. and maybe we talk about it. And it's like, that's hard, Mm -hmm. but it's like, it's like that. What solution is always like easy. Like it's like, you need a little bit. It's Mm -hmm. like pain is like with pain, suffering there's growth. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's worth it for like, do you see the audiences? It's like, yeah, y'all saw how ugly that moment was. Now let's see how beautiful this moment can be. It's true. You know, like yeah. that, like this forgiveness, forgiveness is so important in all relationships. Mm-hmm. And like this is a teachable moment, especially for the fucking platform. Cause like this, that it just doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And it's like, to me, it's so obvious. Mm-hmm. It's so obvious, but it just doesn't happen. And, yeah. and I really want to make that happen. That, cause like when everybody was responding to this, people came to my stream and were like, what do you think about the burns? I'm like, oh. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to respond because it's like, this is the problem is everybody responds so immediately mm-hmm. and everyone's just like, ah! yeah, you don't, you don't want to bring that. Yeah. Like energy. chaos. We're burning on fire. We're pissed. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like, you know, yeah. so like, I'm like, I just want to like, can I just like, I don't have an opinion yet. I want to just like chill back. I want to see how things unfold. I want to see what happens. Right. And I want to make my opinion. And then let's fix it. Right. I don't want to just make an opinion and then like sit Stick in it. Stick with it. I yeah. like solutions. Yeah. Also, that's what I went to school for grad, for grad school, though. Conflict resolution. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I'm there. Yeah. Differently. Yeah. But um, that's where I go. So I, I want to do that. And hopefully, and I don't know if that's the right way to go about it or not. And if I, you know, it's appropriate for me to ask them to do that or not. Only it, it, maybe I just share my intentions. I would. But I think that that's important, especially because I think Facebook want to see that. Like we've had some some situations on Facebook where it's been top dogs that have fought, and then it's like for example, there's um, these two big streamers. I won't name them just so I don't want to bring up their drama again. But um, they had a public feud. They were making videos about each other about it, like intensifying it. And their communities are big communities. Why, like I'm like, how do y'all not fucking see this shit? Question though, can I ask a question about yeah, that? Yeah, of course. Do you think this is this is me as a conspiracy theorist? Kind mm-hmm. of sometimes I am. Do you think that they could do that on purpose? I think so. Yeah, there's absolutely, absolutely can be some manipulation with that. In the Drama tactic. can bring in more people. That's what I'm yes. saying. So could, could they have? Got, I'm not. I don't know these people. I don't know these people. But I'm just saying, like, could they have maybe been generally? Like, yeah, could they have been like, mm, I know we have a little bit of beef, but do you want to like? beef this up even more and it would probably benefit both of us yeah so like i absolutely think that that's a possibility and it probably is real i think there someone has shared okay. that with me before but in this situation no it's not but okay. like that can happen yeah, yeah i think of it can course because like a lot of people want to come in and see it happening. yeah i say that on tiktok a lot because i'm more on tiktok than i am facebook i do get on facebook but i see these people who are just in these big feuds and but and they're both blowing up and i'm like mm-hmm you're not fooling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are not. Full- I mean, it could be real. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. But like, it, it, it's so disastrous, and and with these two, how big they were, mm-hmm. it was, uh, it, it was just so nasty. Mm. 
It was so nasty. And I'm like, do better. Please yeah, do better. Sure. Like, like you all are like, they are adult adults. Like, they ain't, like, early 20, 21, 22, 19, 18, like a lot of these other people who are on top are. Mm -hmm. They are adults with life experiences, spouses, maybe kids, some, a career, all this shit. I'm like, do better. This is pathetic. Yeah, seriously. You've been through it's life pathetic. enough to know better to act like this. Yeah, yeah. And and it really irritated me because I'm like, you're. do you not see that you're rallying people up mm -hmm. to be angry like mm -hmm. you, you're a part of what's happening in our world right now. Like you are intensifying the shit. You are contributing to it. Mm -hmm. How do you not see it? Mm -hmm. It's like we don't have no leaders. There were no leaders on a platform or anything like, to speak up and say stop, yeah, fucking seriously. do better. You know, and maybe it's something I need to say to Facebook or to get a platform involved and be like, do better. Do they have a uh, where like on? Like TikTok and stuff, you can get banned for like bullying or, so or negative, what whatever. It, 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 it's complicated. It's okay. not easy. But this is what happened to them. So they continued to do that and it got intense and they both lost their partnership. Ooh. And there, and in partnerships, and that, there can that, be contracts that, that are money. Bring, that partnerships is money. Yeah. Yeah. So they lost that. And um, yeah, so it's like... It, it's just uh, it just intensifies. I just want I, I just want there to be transformative um, actions that mm -hmm. ha from now on. Like I, it's like now where I'm. It's like you know you you learn every day about yourself and what you want right. to see and how you want to move. And from now on, whenever I see things happen, I want to see transformative action. Right. I don't want to see opinions and 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 deep hatred and and rooted like um all that stuff. I want to see. Okay, what are we going to do next? What right. what what is where are we going next? Right. And that's part of your background on your mm. conflict resolution. Yeah. So that where I'm going with it is that I want to see them come together and I want to see them come together. It, you, it's going to be hard to get out past your ego, but it's like if you're in this industry, we are influencers. Every single person has a microphone. Every single person has a camera on them. We're a fucking influence because I may have like what eight people, nine people, whatever watching me right now, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I may be influencing how they're feeling because mm -hmm. I'm I'm articulating myself so from a vulnerable place and I'm going as deep as I possibly can. So some could say that's manipulation. Mm -hmm. how i'm sharing sharing my reality and my truth so that is in influencing someone so no matter what you have what medium you have influencing is the positive word to manipulation yeah it can be you're my oh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there she is i feel like influencing is the positive word for manipulation yeah, yeah that's be. funny too it can it can be yeah in a, in a way mm -hmm. because like manipulation you are forcing the influence kind of not necessarily mm, right influence, but with manipulation you're forcing someone to feel a certain way or to do something right by making them feel a certain way and influencing you're you're not forcing it you're like kind of just sharing giving how you feel about something and yeah. giving it's more of advice more than yeah it right it's like oh do this because this or but i really love like you went there it. like that so deeply insightful because i love i, I don't really i don't want to come and i don't want to speak about like 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 spiritual things that I don't know about, but from what I've heard, like the yin and the yang, mm -hmm. um, where that originates from is like there's a yin and a yang to everything, mm -hmm. and and I believe that because there's I'm not deeply like into this nuance thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like nuance to everything, everything. Mm -hmm. The way you're looking at me, mm -hmm. there's nuance to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like all that. Like so, I like that you went there because you know influencing and manipulation both the same thing same thing it's just one's positive and one's negative. yeah yeah but you can also influence in a negative way i guess like if you're like kind of trying to like you're kind of like trying to peer pressure someone that could be mm. influencing in a bad way sure. but like there's also a lot of good influencing and i just feel like it's a good comparison like manipulation is mm -hmm. a negative way to influence yeah someone. how do you feel so like bringing this now i want to make the parallel because i feel a little selfish but um bringing this back into like relationships because this is relationship building from like a leader point of view to the mass mm -hmm. but now bringing it more intimately how 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 do you go about like um like one thing that i can't stand is when couples get on social media and they broadcast all the bullshit that's I happening hate that. but i hate it because it's so together. toxic Nobody's business. it's so yeah. toxic <laughs> you can't survive it mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm -mm. 
You can't survive that. I don't feel like that. That you should do that. I think that should be private. And maybe if you need to rant to like a close friend about like what's mm-hmm. going on in your relationship, okay. But I feel like even that is kind of pushing it. It's you like got to really private. trust that person because I mean, yeah. I would feel. We talked about this last night, didn't we? Definitely right. not. On Recently, social media. I would you feel. feel like you need to talk to another person, but social media, that's a different story. That's a lot. Yeah. I don't care what the negative is. I would feel so terrible. And I don't know if it's just the way I'm built. Because I don't really like to talk about people anyway. Except unless they're in another car and I'm driving. Oh my gosh, that's a whole <laughs> entirely different story. But I mean <laughs> but I mean for me I can't even fathom sitting down with anybody I know, my brothers who's my best friend, and saying and giving them anything to feel negative about her about. I can't imagine that. Even if she had just hurt I'm me I'm not even necessarily terribly. saying negative or talking bad about someone. I'm no, I'm not saying that. But even if... In a positive way, like, right. this is what happened and this is how I feel about it. They're not understand, not necessarily talking bad about I, them. I get it. But I'm, I, my point is, is still... I don't know. I, that's I don't know. self-awareness, too, to a different level. Because now it's like... That's more of your your experience in life, life experience, to understand the delicacies and intricacies of human to human interactions. Right. That like you saying one thing, you already know the damage that it can do because of your life experience. So right. like that may be something you haven't experienced yet, where you're thinking you're coming from in a positive place. I'm just venting, but it's like no, 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 no. You're not just venting because people are always listening differently, and they may be trying to look out for you. And be like no, that's bad, and that's welcoming people in your relationship. I'm just I talk like more like I'm very, very like like I'll get deep into Vocal. it. Like I, I'm very descriptive. I'm gonna tell you the whole story and exactly how I feel and exactly what happened. Yes, in that she way. will. So it's like, I feel like if they think something's wrong with that person and that person's not treating me right, then they're probably right because they, and I don't just go vent to anybody. I would go vent to like a best friend, someone I trust. They're going it's to important. tell me how it is. Mm. You need to have some, and, and I feel like you need someone like that sometimes, especially yeah, you when do. you're young and you're you not do. married and like stuff like that. I feel like you do need someone. If you have a best friend, I feel like it's good to talk those things out and let them help you. Right. Like, but Absolutely. What, what but saying, there's there's a difference though. There's some people that aren't real. You gotta you gotta figure out who's real and who's not because no, some absolutely. people are gonna just go with whatever you say. And you want somebody that's going to challenge to you, you out to challenge and tell you. you like you're doing that like this is not right. Like, but I don't think you can vent to somebody who has I a mutual relationship. So like, if Agreed. if Dad went to vent to his brothers about me, that could change the way family looks yeah. at me. If I vented I to you about how dad, and what dad did, do that. hold on about what dad did to me, that's 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 horrible because I agree. you don't want anybody. You love us both, but like if I'm saying right. he did this and he did that, that has to be somebody the way not, that you look not, about your own a dad. With them. I agree because I had that happen in it my just, life. I mean, Brooke's my best friend, so I'm a vent to her regardless. But I'm gonna say it did change but that's, her. Sisters is different. It changed her view, but in a in a good way. Yeah, which, as she should. But D- sisters you know, are different. But like, true, you need 100%. somebody to vent to. But I think that you need to find somebody who is not mutual friend mm-hmm. not mutual family, family. Yeah. And not, you know what i mean yeah if he makes me mad i need to get it out but i'm not going to talk to you about it i'm not going to talk to my mom about it i don't want my mom to think any bad about no. jeff i'm going to probably why I've never go to my ta- best right. friend and say you know we love jeff but he really takes me off last night and here's why i don't do that very i really honestly don't do that very much usually but that's we talk a good it way to do it that's you that, would that, never that, do that if i heard that like, and if i heard that as a spouse that you talked yeah. to your but it wouldn't bother me and it's, it's all more about if like if you're talking to somebody that's because I know you generally that's care that's about me too, like, right? You know, like also, I think it's your personality makeup because I think we're a lot of me and her. The lot we're the same in this way that we're always kind of always see the best in people, and we almost make excuses for people. It's like, oh yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Do. <laughs> we do. We try to see. We play the devil's advocate, even in the Which worst situations. We want to see. That's a human. That's a person. They were a baby once, right? I mean, they were a little. Ch- they were like a Carter to somebody, and who knows what happened in those years that could traumatize uh, them to act that could change that their life. life experience. You don't do that when you're early twenties or right, or late even twenty nine or thirty. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. So the guys making mistakes on a Twitch or whatever you call it. Can you just say that? Can you just say that? He has no it's idea. okay. He's old. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A Facebook Live or or a, or, or a Discord. What in the you world? You know what I mean? 
The way you're saying that, you hit motherfucker. You so hip. God, you so cool. You cool with that. So hip. So, but I'm saying, you, so you have to give a little leeway to them. But unfortunately for them, they got to pay the price at the time. And then they got to be like me later and be like, yeah, you don't make those mistakes. At yeah, 46. That's life experience. You know, right. like every every year, that it's like, I remember when I was 21. And I remember having, our, I do, I remember having, our, well, I don't know if it was 21, 22, or 23. It was one of those early, early 20s. Same. And I remember saying to um, my one of my best friend's mom, who's now one of my best friends. I actually live with them. You know, mm-hmm. so um, I remember telling her, I was like, Cindy, I was like, it's so weird. Now, now I'm out of high school and stuff. Like certain things to me are like more important than they were before. Like, I and, and it was like a new thing to me. And I was like, that, I don't know why that's never been important to me. Like I never heard. She's like, honey, that's going to keep happening to you. Like, mm-hmm. this is a, like, and I remember, I think what it was had to do with kids. Cause I was still like lifeguard and stuff. And I think that I was, it was like, to me, I was like, we have to like, when we're, we have to like be like more positive around them and stuff. It was something like that, you know? And right. I, it was like that new revelation happened, but like, Every year, those revelations happen as you get older and older and older, and, and then you it starts, just keep changing. Yeah, and yeah. it's crazy when you look back. You on evolve, it, like, you I'm grow. A completely different mm-hmm. person, even not in a bad way, just in a way that like you look back and you're like, wow, stronger, right. more wet. Yeah. Now you're weathered. You you know you are more knowledgeable. You're like more I thought, wise. I was grown at eighteen. I was yeah. not grown at 18. No, you weren't, honey. You swing grown. I was not. We're never, none of us are grown. <laughs> a, little, a little more grown than no, I was. We, <laughs> we never have it figured out. None we of us never are grown. got it together. We're not grown. It's never. And you got to yeah. remember, I truly believe that what, you, not what grown, goes in grow, is what comes growing. out. So you got to keep feeding yourself the I'm positive. Legal. That's the good word for it. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. And and I and I feel like I took this like way off the rails, which That's I, no. I as usual. That's all right. We're good. I know. We are not you got way off the we, rails. We, I'm so good. At which is good. Do you, see an, outline, That's what makes do you see an outline here? Yes, I posted it. <laughs> this podcast <laughs> on my <laughs> Facebook you. account. I was like, wait, what? I was this, like, really listen to this. <laughs> this podcast doesn't go by an outline or a script or anything. So and that would make it very boring. Yeah, but but like awful. I still think that it was it, it, it was still applicable because it was. It's like from a leadership perspective, and you know sometimes in relationships, in an intimate ones, you do have that leader, mm-hmm. you know that leads, and it's it's important. Basically, I think what's important You're is talking like a dom sub situation. No, Stop he's talking he's about so nasty. I know. I God, he's nasty. You filthy, honey. Go take a shower. Oh, God. <laughs> Slice you in half with these hands. <laughs> He's saying somebody that kind of wears the pants in the yeah, relationship. Yeah, Not it. necessarily bossy, it. but like I get it. drives the ship. Yeah, yeah. And and there can be leaders in on all senses of the, the way. The meat like, ship. Oh, God. See, he can't help himself. God. So I filthy. think he needs an intervention. <laughs> he does. But you've been saying that for too long, honey, so you don't care. <laughs> I'm there too tired. No fixing I'm this. too tired to care. You ain't changing tired. him. No, I'm you ain't not changing. You can you try. Ain't change. I just make. I just like make people. Sign you a, laugh at me. A document saying she I understand that Angie has nothing to do with what comes out of his mouth. Uh huh. I'm. I'm curious though. So, what? So to bring this back to a more broad in, in in a sense of like me coming as someone that is like, um, I've never been in a serious relationship. Um, and obviously I'm gay and in West Virginia, What? but I'm curious. Oh, wait, <laughs> no, I'm straight sometimes. Mm-hmm. Really? Was that convincing? No. <laughs> no. I was, I was, I was You're like, bitch. So I, I was I'm like, like is it April? <laughs> <laughs> it's an April fool. No, I used to tell people on my, my stream, I, I would title my stream, the straightest man on Facebook gaming. And I was like, honey, I ain't gay. I don't like other men. I like women. I like my girls. <laughs> I'm a straight boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, but like, okay, so for me to learn from you all, because I'm not learning, you know, like it, it needs, it's like um, secondhand learning mm-hmm. from you all because I am i don't have a, a serious relationship. I've never been in one. I'm curious, like, you know, what would have been some of the challenges and you get if you had a have you had a serious relationship? I mean, I guess kind of. Okay, so then Not you're really. so you well well okay well if you kind of have maybe you can have insight on this. I'm curious, like, how do you go about rectifying I, issues? I don't know if I'd consider it a serious relationship. No. Well, then it's then they're going to be our I, no. our our spiritual leaders. Yeah, okay. 
Thank so you. I'm curious, how do you all go about rectifying mm-hmm. issues that are rising in your relationship? There's no issues. This is perfect. Oh, my oh gosh. please. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I, honestly, we just we talk a whole lot, and we, we spend a lot of time together, and we don't we don't let anything go. We're besties, we don't let besties. anything go. And here's the more importantly: if there's an issue, like we can't deal with it. We talk about it. We we figure out the solution, and then it's done. There's no grudges. There's no holding it. We're not going to drag this out all week. Not using it against. Them. Not using it against you. Like I, we just literally like. If there's an issue in our relationship, we definitely make it a priority. We don't put it on the back burner. We don't, we're not like we're going to deal with this later because we have all these kids. It it is a 100% immediate priority. It's the top. Like we, we, there's been times where we don't get to sleep. Like where Mm. people will go, I'm not talking to you and I'm going. We pull on items. I'm one of them people. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, I We'll we'll, we'll (laughs) sit up till four in the morning. Oh yeah, we have done. We have done it. We have done it. I'm so passionate, I probably would too. Literally, like it's, there's nothing, and it's not like, well, should I do this? Is this the most important thing? Is this a priority? No, it's like it, it, and I maybe, maybe that's where people don't, you got to be with someone that you want to fight for, even when you don't want to fight for, if that makes sense. There's it, there's times like you're talking about like where you're like idiot versus you're like long term where there's there's a point where you go fuck this like I'm not you know but then you know deep down and you go no I'm gonna fight for this I'm gonna we're but gonna. sometimes people need a little breather before they fight for it like oh absolutely they do need a breather but <laughs> you might have to walk away a minute. no there's like, yeah. there's sleep. breathers <laughs> there's breathers but there's also I can't I can't being passive about there's it. Been, See, I'm okay no, I'm, it's I'm, been forty five minutes and we've we've taken a break. But I can't go to sleep. I can't do. Yeah. I can't move on. I can't think. I can't watch TV. I've got to figure this out. If it's going to be ugly, if it's going to be a fight, if it's going to be something that's going to be held against me forever, we or I'm going to hold it. Again, you know, we got to figure this out. That's how and, I am, though. I want to talk about it immediately and get it. I, you got to get it resolved, that's all right? I think about it. yeah. So I, until it's resolved, that's all I'm going to think. But well, we both are that way. And at the end of the day, it, it might works. not happen immediately. But admitting you're wrong when you're wrong is huge. There's nothing worse than being with somebody who never admits that they're wrong, and they. It only took me till well, I was in you know my thirties. Worse than that, when they ignore you when you're mad. Yeah. Oh. Because yeah. yeah, if you want to talk about uh, it, and then there's somebody that needs to cool off first, because I used to get told that I was being ignored in the moment because that person was so mad that they'd say things they regret, and they did not want to do that. So they needed to ignore me until they were more calm about the situation, I mean, some, which is respectful. You got to respect, respect that. that. You do. But when you're not that way, and you want to talk about it immediately. It doesn't. You're upset because you're getting ignored. And, they hear, and you want to talk about it. And, and that's we've, all you can think about. We've gone right back it. circle to where you're not going to change, and that person's not going to change. That's the way that's you are. Personality. So then you have to come to a solution on how we're going to deal with this. You have to respect each other's way of dealing with conflict. If if that person's like, I need a minute, but you're like, you want to talk about it now, then you're going to figure it out. But they should tell you that instead of ignoring you. Well, it comes I to communication. It. True. <laughs> communication. So basically what we're hearing, the like, theme is communication. Absolutely. Communication. It's all about 100%. communication. 100%. And, and expect, all, all they had to say was, I need a minute before I can talk about oh, this. I need a minute to calm down instead of just straight out ignoring it's got a, everything you're and saying. And then telling you after. And then telling yeah, you that that's after. Not, well, that's and I don't right. want to mislead anybody to think that because we've got great communication, that mu- that communication isn't manipulated in anger. Oh, sure. There's times where it's like that. It's like sure. you, you're fighting within trying to find a solution yeah. because you're just being petty. Oh, mm-hmm. we can be petty. Right. We could be. We can Mr. drive each petty. other crazy. <laughs> sure. So people, we've been so petty. People he seems have divorced, so sweet, but he's petty as all get up. I oh, have, I can sense it. <laughs> I can, I can sense drive it. you crazy. Oh my god! In a bad way, like I can. I, I, I know her button. Petty would. You are so chill. Oh, like, I'm he chill. Laughs when I he's am mad. chill. <laughs> <laughs> he to get on fuck up. her up. <laughs> he, no, because he laughs when he's mad. No, he, he does when, when he used to when he used to get us in trouble. And he would just say stuff to us, and we just look at him, and he just start laughing. That's true. He did do that. <laughs> but he doesn't do That's that. That's my me. children. He doesn't Maybe. do that. With Ma, me. She would scare us when she's mad. She would scream. She's at us mean. And yell man. Us. That's coming from a parent. <laughs> <laughs> 
and he and him he would just slowly and calmly lecture us and we would just look at him and then he'd start laughing and we'd be like that's oh. true she's yeah. not lying so you had to so be the one wore the why, pants that's with the kids. why that's why i think that no you and, <laughs> that's and i why get I think that, that is that he, you would be more petty he's than different than I think no that. he's different with me i'm not always petty not always i didn't say but that. i mean However, we're man, deep, man, when we're deep in the weeds i can really be a dick well i want to cut you off to 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 point something out yelled at us or got us in trouble (laughs) yeah i want to point something out though here's another different a key difference in relationships is how you react to your children versus how you react to your friends versus how you react to your spouse your spouse or your loved one is there's a different face for all of them absolutely you know you kill that you nailed that that's very mm-hmm. true because we i we fight differently than i would fight with my kids and i would fight with a friend than i would fight with a co-worker um there's i remember the first time i heard my mom cuss and it was when they were fighting they didn't know i was listening <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's oh wow that's probably true because <laughs> they try to do it in private like nobody could hear because i was probably being petty and because I, I know we were in the spring hill house and i was like 13 14. i know how to get under her skin oh, and to that's a level thing. that's no d- 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 i mean she'll come that. yelling and want me to fight back and i'll just give her a smirk and just sit back he he that's we know how to push annoying. buttons mm-hmm. just like siblings know how to push buttons. yeah you know course, what i'm saying of course it's the same thing and so, somebody yeah. acting like they don't care will really can really push oh yeah buttons. anyone's if you're button. mad and you're in some and you're mad and you're trying to talk about something that person's just acting like they don't care mm-hmm. it's gonna it's oh gonna yeah get you. oh yeah <laughs> that is. Mm-hmm. yeah that's one that's anybody one way it to, would get yeah. anybody the problem is is you get and i think everybody faces this but it's like are you going to figure it out in the end because we we all get to that moment. I've been there where I know in my head that what I'm doing the next day, she's. I have to answer for it because mm-hmm. it's like, why would you do that? Same. Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you do do something so harmful or hurtful? And and in the moment, you're like, I know this is not right. Like this is mm-hmm. damaging. This mm-hmm. is not cool. And I'm still doing it. And usually, it's when I've had too many of these. <laughs> That's true. And we get into it about something, well, which is not often. No, it's I mean, really we not, don't, We only fight like tw- like four or five times a week now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. No, literally, it's not very often, but it's almost like you don't do it that often. So when you do it, it gets out of hand. Deal. It gets out of hand. Yeah. But, and it's not that we're, but, but yeah, but you say that and it makes it sound like you hold things in until you pop off and that's not. Oh, no, I'm not holding anything in. It's that's just. That's not it's, how it is. No, you're right. It does sound like it that. It does no, sound like it's you're just, like, it, you're bubbled over and you just pop off. That's. No. If I have an issue with him, he's going to know within. No, we usually. In, you, <laughs> within 30 seconds. Well, well, that's the thing though with us that might be different with other people. Like we've been together for so long, literally. Like I can't even hide my irritation. Mm-hmm. I literally can't. She knows. Like she's like, "What's wrong with you? Why are you?" There's yeah, something. Yeah, been up. Since high school. So and I'm like, like mm-hmm. "There's nothing wrong with me." I'm and like, "She's like, liar. there's something wrong." You're with a you. whole ass fucking liar. And I'm like, liar. "Yeah." And that makes you more mad. You yeah. when somebody's accusing you of being mad or annoyed. Yeah. Did this, person. you know, or you and it pissed. And then we get into it, mm-hmm. and well, it's my, usually something stupid. My toxic trait is when I get mad or hurt about something, I go crazy. Like I'll say whatever, I'll do whatever. You want to provoke a crazy. response? Yes, and then afterwards i'll whenever i'm calmed or i'll cry or i'll do when i cry when i get frustrated and stuff or i'll i'll go crazy and then an hour two hours later i'm looking back and i'm like oh my gosh no i've been there yeah Yeah. no i did not do that and then i feel bad and i'm apologizing and i just look crazy but But that's the thing that's self-reflection and (laughs) that's going to be your growth so like when they were saying something that you countered with that i'm wrong and it's just like if you can't help it in the moment i act i act yeah what i was saying well this is this is the teachable moment for you for people who are older than you is that like when you were when you were counter to what he was saying about like relationships, something about relationships, something you were like, well, no, 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 like this is how it's like that was that was built with life experience, mm-hmm. and what you're talking about now, the sentence you just stated, that is life experience happening Happen- at right, the beginning, speak, yeah. the beginning. So you're learning. It's like I cannot be calm. I just I get it. but but hurt. If you I'm knowing hurt, how bad that is, mind. you're learning that you need to address that. 
That's you, not okay. You, can, you recognize it. Yeah. And I'm you recognizing can, you it can grow sure, from but it. It's, hard, it's not as easy. To no, it's not easy. But some people. In the moment, it's very difficult. It's very difficult in the moment when you right. feel that much hurt or you feel that angry. It's right. hard. It is. But I'm not the type to just punch things. But you people, learn. But you learn how to put those procedures in place that, like, that will rectify. Right. Step like, I away. Know, I know what's Count happening. Ten. Yeah, I'm try, I, I try. I've gotten better, actually. But that's that's growing, though. That's like you, when you said you, you self-reflect and you look that's back and you're like, not oh, matured that's, all the way. It, just, some people don't do that. Some people just go on with their day and they don't. And they take, think they're right. They, yeah, they don't take the time. And they the think time. they didn't do anything wrong. So It's very important I mean, to is, think about it and admit when you're wrong and go back and say, I'm sorry. I said that I shouldn't have, or I'm sorry I acted out or I overreacted or which is my biggest thing. I overreact and like, Mm. I'm a little dramatic. (laughs) I don't know where where she gets that. I really Mm. honestly don't know. I wonder where she gets that. But here, here's another parallel. But I'm also chill. So I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. But here's the parallel. So how you just said all that stuff. And then what I was talking about with like Burns and all them is like how he responded to the situation. Now there's a parallel. I don't know if I really, react out of anger that much like i don't i don't like i feel like most of the time there's good reasons well yeah but good reason to use perception is reality yep yeah. yeah but 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 we've got a huge difference here okay because some Define things will it. make me mad that doesn't it, make the, other people no mad. it it's not that it's right she's self-reflecting and maybe he's self-reflecting the yeah. difference is is we can clearly see she's telling us about a private situation that mm-hmm. happened that she doesn't have to self-reflect but or tell anybody about. Yeah, nobody has to know other nobody than the person. Nobody held a gun to her head. You know, right? nobody said you're going to be at a deficit because you acted this way. Other than maybe in your relationship, but you're not going to lose that money. Maybe telling other. You're people. not going to be shamed on social media. You're not going to be. You know what I mean? True too. However, I'll counter from from my reality is that like it to me is entirely applicable in the same thing because for us our job is to be live in front of an audience. And so like, think about if you sure. have to do your job 40 hours a week or however many hours a week in front of a camera. No, that's the point I made earlier. Is that like, it's yeah. documented and, and you're being your raw self sometimes. Or sometimes you're just, you had a bad day and you're going to flip the fuck out. Mm-hmm. It is the same thing. It's like, okay, yeah. then think about how, how you interact with people and you're being forced in a situation with people while you're being passionate about trying for something that you're supposed to try about. And then you pop off just because whatever may affect that. Mm-hmm. You, now everybody has an opinion about it. Yeah. There's a similarity. There's a similarity. It sucks. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. an occupational it's hazard. Also, it's also kind of different because I was kind of talking like in a relationship way. Like I act like it because with my friends, when we like – First of all, I never really fight with them. But if like we get annoyed with each other, we just ignore it. Get away of. from we each other. We don't really argue. I hate it. You know, we just we just ignore each other for a little bit, and like an hour but later, but it's we're the fine. worst. No, you listen to me right now, honey. Listen, <laughs> I don't really this argue with worst, my friends. But this is the worst because you're going to remember that shit that happened that they did. You're going but to remember my friends it. don't do grimy stuff though. They don't That's, grimy, grimy, grimy. All these words, it's just honey. Kinda, it's, it's just kind of attitude. Sometimes it's not here about grimy, but the attitude is the grime. This is why is because they need I mean, to know that don't pop. Everybody gets an attitude sometimes. Yeah, but you don't do it. You ain't supposed to do it. You know, and like act like it's okay. That's not okay. Right, and they don't. I mean, you know. Well, I'm, we I'm not attacking your friends. It. I just mean like that. Well, There's it, the things that happen when yeah. you're younger too. And it's like all of these things that happen, it's like they can boil up. And it's like it's still like a little bit of life experience to be like, no, nah, we need to talk about the issue that happened, about like I was mad about this. It still needs to be communicated because it like it, because it's going to intensify the next time they do it. And then you may and still I mean, ignore it. it and the next time, the next time, the next time, bitch. I'm tired of you getting that fucking attitude and, with me. And that's true because I do. <laughs> yep. I, was say, I have, I have a friend that does kind of like sometimes like they you know periods. Though. You have some, but oh my oh, gosh. gosh, whoop his ass! <laughs> I'm whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like sometimes, sometimes. And there's some more serious events. Like, I, I do take up for myself when the time comes. But sometimes it's just, like, you know, small attitudes that everybody gets with each other. It's just like, or the text has a little attitude in it, a little sass. And you just ignore it. And you're just like, okay, whatever. Like, and then you're fine. Or, like, I'm just talking minor things. But, like, if something, like, happens that really, like, offends me or I feel like it needs to be talked about, I'm going to speak how I feel. If, oh, if she we're will. close I enough, promise. I promise I'm going to speak how I feel about the situation. But, like, if it's something minor that, like, doesn't even matter, like, we get an attitude 
attitude about something stupid just because whatever, then I'm just going to ignore it until I, the time I always, comes. I'll ignore it, but like I get, I get irritated. But in relationships, that hits a different level, I feel like. And Which I've never had. I, well, I don't know. I'm just saying like not even like relationship, relationship, like – someone that you're like talking to and that you have feelings for it just hits something different like you're really going to like i will cuss somebody out i'll cuss him out or i will act a certain way in the moment but i don't act like that with my friends mm -hmm. but, but they're not doing nothing to me but you might still he be, might mad be doing about something it. wrong to me and that's why i'm acting that yeah. way there's i don't really act that way for no reason but this right. goes that's back true. to the face thing Different faces. Mm -hmm. different I'm just, I just oh, know that true. I overreact. That's true. Is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I'm just saying I overreact. I'm not saying that I don't have a reason to react. Though. Yeah. Well, but with me, this this is how, where I'm coming from when I was saying what it's I said. Just they don't deserve that, my reaction. Well, yeah. So I get what you're saying. But like, yeah. for me, everything does. Because I'm like, if we want to make the strongest relationship that we can possible, you need to know everything that irritates me. I need to know everything that irritates you. I'm just and how to get gets past to a it? Point, mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm now yeah, and I'm not like attacking your situation. No, I know, I know. I'm like, just saying like it gets yeah. to a point where you don't want to tell them how you feel because you've already told them a million times and they're not listening, they're not hearing you. So then that's a problem, right? And that's a big problem. It's like we that's don't. That's when to be they friends. don't deserve your reaction. No, that's not about not deserving a reaction. It's that like we don't deserve to be friends because you ain't respecting me. Right. That's like you ain't respecting. Or we me. don't deserve to even have a relationship. It goes at that two point, ways. I mean, yeah, if you're willing to. I mean, you have to listen to what pe if you're going to say to somebody, I don't know what the situation is, but, you know, your issues with them, you got to open up your ears because guarantee you they have issues with you because no course. one's perfect. Of course. But there are people who will shut that out. Shut that out and, and they'll let it all bubble it's, up. It's, you can't it. do that. Yeah. So for me, like when I'm younger, like. But you can't force somebody to talk about it either. No, you can't. No. So like when I was younger, so like early 20s and like maybe late teens like i have some friends like i'll name drop a friend like one of my best friends david harvey and his um brother ron harvey get on my fucking nerve i love them so much they're like still my best friend. like well david still is me and ron i'm growing a little distant but we still have a good relationship but like they they would do things and like they never want to talk about the conflict that like, they just want to like laugh it around like as if like whatever like i want to i'm just going to ignore him i ain't talk to him i ain't go it's like that's very problematic. Yeah, for sure. It's very problematic because, like, if you don't address grievances that have happened to you, it's like, where's the relationship going? It's like, you constantly just want to throw it under the rug. Like, think about how sweeter and how more of an intense and a positive way mm -hmm. your relationship can be if you know how to respect one another. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to respect one another if, like, you feel disrespected and you're not communicated that you disrespected them. Right. Like, if I someone feel like gets if, added, if you feel disrespected and you're not communicating it, you're disrespecting yourself at that point. Both parties. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, like, when, when someone gets a little attitude with me, I tell them, like, Brianna, me and her, we've oh had gosh. our blowouts. I'm, I'm like, sure. you ain't fucking getting out. Stop getting attitude with me. <laughs> because, like, I ain't fucking going there. She like to go straight in attitude. She goes straight off. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, and I ain't her, dealing with that shit. Same way. Yeah, I ain't fucking dealing with that shit. <laughs> I appreciate I that, that though, in a friend. That's I when you know. That. I know I love that's, it, though. That's when you know you have a good friend. Right. I want a friend who can sit me down and say, you're going to get mad when I say this. And right. you're not going to like to hear this. But because I love you, I'm going to tell you. And blah. And then you're probably are going to be like. I've been. Yeah. I listen. Hey, I got. Him, I need him, to talk to you. No, hold um, on. You're gonna be mad. Him. When I say this. He has done it to me before, and Chaz has done it to me before, and has said, "Sit down." Uh oh. You're not gonna like this. It's probably gonna make you mad, but you have to hear it, and it's changed me. Like I've been like, okay, I, and I didn't like it, and I got upset, and I cried, and I felt bad about it. But it did make me change, and it changed the situation. And I love people like that because that's I, real. That's real. You're, you, it's you hard. might not. It's hard because it, you don't want to sit down and tell somebody something they need to hear when you love them, and you know it's going to kind of hurt their feelings. It, yeah, but I knew they were coming from the right place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, even if you don't know right so in that second, jokes. you'll realize it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. You just struggle. It's hard. Listen. Sit down on it. You change oh it. My god. From a good it's gone. Now where she may be gone, it's gone. I came from a good place. I. I oh my, yeah. So it, much. It doesn't have to always go there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You always got to answer a joke. Are uh, you a 14 no, year old boy? Hold up. <laughs> this is where the fuck we going. I'm going to go down. I'm going to put this motherfucker on boss because he ain't shit, bitch. <laughs> he ain't never going to be shit until he learned about his motherfucking self, bitch. You hear me? This is where we going. This is why you, because you need a fucking outlet, bitch. Are you going to change not, me? I'm going to tell you. Oh, ass. Get, yes, oh I, I know am. what he's getting ready to do. I'm going to tell you. Yes, yes, you I do know, know motherfucker. Going, I do what know. you asking to fucking do because yeah. you always insert jokes where they don't need to be fucking bitch because you just always, you got to be. 
I just put a joke in everything, motherfucker. Like, everybody be like, bitch, we ain't walking around like we need to hear junk all the time. Motherfucker, with real life, bitch. I don't care about your fucking joke, motherfucker. I don't care, bitch. Take your joke. Where? To the stage, motherfucker! I know. That's what we've been telling Let's you. Take your jokes to the stage. Oh, he just called you out. There's no stage. You won't, because you won't put a, put them on a stage. Because you scared, oh, bitch. I love you the scared, laugh. You scared, He's, he's, even he's said, scared. He's even said that he would we would go with you oh. to a city that has open mic night. And what and what were we going to do? You, I was in Charlotte, and I was like, oh, you can say with me. Oh, yeah. Did I say that? Uh-huh. He did say it. <laughs> That's true. Oh, we, yeah. we had a podcast Forgot about, about doing what yeah, you right. dream about doing, and he wants to do stand up comedy, mm -hmm. and and he won't practice it, and so he just called him out on it. And I like yes, that. yes, because you you you're always want to do it. It's like you're it's like you're what you're dying to do. You you bringing it out in places. It's like what the fuck? That's the most random time. Yes, yeah, so I love you it. need it's that funny. perfect outlet, and you are depriving yourself, forty six year old adult. Yep. He's right. I'm on his He's side. He's right. He's I, right. I know You're I'm right. right. He just did what I, I just said. I don't need y'all to tell me I'm right. I know I'm right. <laughs> now get your ass on the stage. We can get rid of these fucking jokes. We don't got to hear about them. But she's trying to tell a fucking story, bitch. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Next time we're in a listen. Next time we're in a serious conversation uh, and talk, and I'm trying to get some. Stage. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. And he inserts a joke. I'm calling you. I'm gonna be like, Michael, go off. <laughs> and you're gonna know she's trying to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. Stop making sex jokes. Because I bet you what. Once he's on, I he ain't gonna be doing that shit no more. He's like, I'm. I'm joked out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joked out. <laughs> I'm joked out. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the stage, honey. I know. Why are we waiting? All right. I just wait until it's 50, you know. Oh, oh my God. Gosh. You could be the next fucking like Kevin Hart, honey. No, no, no. Making no, no. millions and paying my student loans off, paying for my fucking car. <laughs> oh, and pay my student loans off. Yeah. Yes. Wait, back up. Before both of you, pay my student loan off. Are you that still I'm still paying student yes. Go on, girl. I don't want to be like you. I've had <laughs> I don't I don't want to be like you. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I've had five deferments. Oh God! What does that mean? <laughs> like begging the loan company. I have a heartache in my life, and I can't afford this right yeah. now. Oh gosh! She's my like, heartache is, that, is that I don't want to pay this shit. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, okay, you your payment's going to go up, but you can start paying in, in two more years. In two years, I need oh. someone to do something to me that makes me able to sue them for all their money. Oh, oh God, that's evil. That's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I might Give be a little toxic. I might be a little toxic. <laughs> oh, I got oh, rear-ended. Oh, my neck. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me. Like, no. Have you seen that? Have you seen that little gif or whatever where like this guy, there's like a Mercedes driving, there's a guy walking around the street, and like it stops like five feet away from him. He goes, oh, and he goes into the car. <laughs> or when like someone gets in there, like, I got an the guy got in a wreck with this person. Did you see that? And he's like, what? And, she, and he goes around in the car. He gets in. He's like, she's like, what you doing? Like, oh, I'm gonna be your witness. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's talking about. Pay my loans, oh, honey. Oh, Lord, I mercy. I got too many loans. Uh, <laughs> I've been out of school for how many years, and I still have loans. Money. Oh, I was very stupid. Like oh, I, I'm, I'm stupid. No, you'll be all right. All right. And here's the Aww. thing. Here's the thing. I've been out of school that many years, and I still paid on a loan that I have a major in that I'm not even using. Which you're really, using it right now. I'm not getting paid for it, am right I? Now I'm not getting paid but for dude, it. Could. We got ads uh, coming in, oh, making bank. Do you? All, so is that something you're okay me. with saying about? What? Do y'all get ad revenue at all for this? No. Did you know? So here, I'm gonna I've give you some. So maybe we're on and the I'm wrong gonna go platform. ahead and just like um, put this insert this in here. Okay. Because it's like it's That's nice what to he just said. be like. See, I, I, listen, I, I already know. Get on stage, that's you scared ass saying. motherfucker. That's what I'm going to start saying. Every time he does that, I'm like, get, get on, on stage. stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, I have a friend that I actually was going to tell you before we started this that I wanted you all to bring on your podcast. She podcasted she did 18 episodes of her own thing for, like, MTV's The Challenge. Mm -hmm. And she was she made, she said for four months, she made $20. Oh, wow. And, and she didn't tell anyone about what. I can hear what you're doing. Yeah, I can too. Sorry. Stop. What was he doing? You're struggling. You can't hear struggling. it because you don't have headphones. You're struggling. Anyway, she did what? Fighting off. So she made like $20 out of revenue. She didn't tell anybody about her episode. She didn't market whatsoever. Nothing. Complete organic. Made $20 off for like, I think she said for like 
four or five months and then maybe some less other months i was like that is very powerful Mm -hmm. i was like i want to tell you right now abby that is so powerful you don't even understand how powerful that is Mm -hmm. that like you did no marketing didn't tell none of your friends about it nothing and you still were able to get money Mm -hmm. like you don't know the threshold Mm -hmm. like because y'all were way more experienced than her Mm -hmm. and you said you've never gone out of revenue no. So, um, and she doesn't know. But like, here's the thing: is that like, she, maybe, maybe y'all just don't know a tactic that like she used that y'all didn't use. Mm-hmm. But that's still like knowledge sharing. Anyway, I was gonna tell yeah. y'all to have her on here to talk about that. Um, because maybe That'd that's be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'm all about it. Have her come on. Yeah. No, I will. I will. Because there's some, there's something for y'all or not. Because we gonna take this to whole another level. You heard me? Whole another level. To. And let's he was doing a fucking stage, and he gonna make money. I'd be like, tell her, Who let's fucking do it. Sex cut jokes. you out to do it. Yeah, you better That's give true. him credit. You yeah, changed you me. Yeah, I'm when gonna say. I'll be like, you winning, changed me. When you're winning an award for your comedy, you're I'm be like, I'd like to yeah. chase no the Fierce Diva. I, and the, Michael Reynolds, a.k.a. The Fierce Diva, can yeah. follow him yeah. and <laughs> subscribe to him and give him $5 a month, please, so he can pay out the student loans, even though I already paid him, but we can double that shit so he can get some more shit. Right. You heard me. It'll happen. You heard. <laughs> and then if we I'm get bigger, old. I'll feel justified in my life. Because you know when you walk around with a degree that you're not using it, you're still paying for it, kind of does something to you. Yeah, no. A lot of still, people are doing that. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand, am, but I, you, you don't care about a lot of people. You care about me and my feelings. Yeah. No, I do. I'm just yeah, saying, don't feel bad. Don't bring a lot of people a lot into of people this. Are doing this. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, and don't do that. Here, uh, you should have no, got no, a dumb no, degree no, like stop, me, stop, which is stop, just stop, broad, stop, where you can be like, making me think I will never. You can't generalize people's feelings. You just generalized somebody's feelings. I did. That was generalize people's terrible feelings. Don't generalize people's feelings. That's bad. Mm-hmm. You can't when somebody says something's oh, bothering them. It you is can't pretty bad. Say, I feel pretty bad. Oh, right a lot of now. people are like that. Oh yeah, well, a lot of people are like that. I, actually, you know what? I'm going to take up for him right now because I don't think that your intention was to <laughs> it that. I think matter. you were saying it doesn't think, matter. It doesn't matter. I think he was saying don't feel that way because that's what the state of the world is in right now. Do, that's what does, I heard. Does intentions exactly really what, matter? It, Do it, it should, but it's not the person he said it to. Is not what they heard. Do, does intentions? Yeah, you got to validate everybody's feelings. Both matter, I think. I'm canceled. Do intentions really matter? I'm canceled. Because what <laughs> what you said to me and what I heard was like, shut up. Everybody's like that. Well, I guess it's a testament to perception okay. of reality because there are yes. four different perceptions. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. I did They're not mean accepted. it that way and I shouldn't have said it because as soon as you said I generalize your feelings, I was like, shit. Aww. I did yeah, generalize. Sweet. I know. Well, I'm no, not, he's a dickhead. I'm not, he needs to get on stage. I'm not sweet. sweet. <laughs> I just say stupid shit and then I'm like, why did I say that stupid shit? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I shouldn't That's have. what I do. And see, now we're fine. I called him out for what he made me feel. Oh, wow. She, we just had a wow. Yes. <laughs> and you know what's a, crazy? She's, you said 30 seconds. That was like five. That was not even a second. I'm good. You were like, wait, wait, wait. That's, that's, and listen, that, that's why we I work. check her at least four times four times a week or genitalia because sometimes I don't did know. Did you say genitalia? Oh, <laughs> what? Well, well, because. Did he fucking say genitalia? He did. He did. <laughs> and here's here's why. Because I'm not sure she's a woman sometimes. <laughs> oh, I don't do, do her. Don't do that her. That don't do that. her. And that, this is why. This is why I say that. Because do she her. won't bring this shit up again. I take a com- she I mean, That's a compliment. She won't bring I it up won't. again. We fight, we say stuff, we do things, and then she's like, okay, we're good. And I never hear, it's, it's not a week later, a month later, it's not two days okay, later. Okay, here's an example. You're right. And she he, doesn't. Here, it's cool. It's like, okay, it's squashed, it's over. Until he does another instance, I was like, there's generalization again. And I have again. friends that are like, <laughs> and I have friends that are like, my wife's bringing up the same thing. She's like, she's bringing up the same thing that happened 20 years ago. I don't even remember how it happened. Well, that, you, and you want to know why people keep bringing some, something up? It's Control. still bothering. No, it's still bothering them. It's not right. resolved. You well, haven't resolved it from your that's, conversation. That's, that's, yeah, if that's they keep bringing point. it up, they still feel that way about it, and nothing was resolved from the conversation. That is they so have true. not forgiven uh, that's, you. That's a good point. That's they however, keep bringing it up because they still feel uncomfortable about that situation. Because if I keep bringing something up, it's still bothering that's, me. That's wise. That's wise. That's even good. if I don't that's realize good. that. Even if I'm telling myself that it's not still bothering me, it's obviously still bothering me. If I'm true. still bringing it true. up, she's picking the mic stand up and everything. Know, yeah. <laughs> However, here's the thing. Here's it. Here it is. Is like, is that some things are like 
some things are natural like like the our our foundations are obviously very natural right. but but how but then a part of those foundations too a part of some of those cinder blocks of this foundation it are the things that we work hard for mm -hmm. so some of those things are things he's working hard mm -hmm. to address and change but it's it's a long battle right but you see how when you said that you generalized my feelings how he was quick to say you're right exactly exactly so that is a become a part of his foundation to recognize but, that and work I, mean, but I don't always do that no, sometimes i'm very if you stubborn didn't feel like that you did you'd be like how did i generalize your how like we would have gone it, at it's it for true a we've but here's gone the thing it. there was yeah, another there was another um example oh boy here he, we go. he will and i'm not trying to pick <laughs> i'm not kidding. he will talk to me sometimes in a very condescending manner and i hate it it's like one of my biggest I hate it. And he doesn't understand when he does it. He's like, I don't understand what you're talking about. So he told me, tell me exactly when I do it. And so I will. I'll be like condescending. She does, yeah. Condescending. We were in the middle of filming a TikTok one night, oh. doing a TikTok video. <laughs> and I, no, I was supposed to do something at a certain time and I messed it up. And he was like, Grr. I was like, and he talked down to me and I was like, that's what I'm talking about condescending right there and he but he realized that he was like okay i get what you're saying now Aww, you're so no sweet. i'm he not is. because i realized <laughs> so no, I, I realized that i was he like is. you are stupid like you are <laughs> 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 And I conveyed that in my voice. She is like, really fucking stupid, bitch. Like, I can't fucking stand her, but like, we're gonna make this shit fucking work. And she fucking stupid. She don't understand one plus one equal two, bitch. She really fucking stupid. <laughs> It, it, it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. <laughs> God damn, that took me out. No, but there's a clip. Yeah. That's a clip. <laughs> That's a clip. Yeah. No, but it's true. I'm kidding. It's true. I'm kidding. I mean, but stupid, I think it's important to, to, to. My point is, if it's something's making me feel a certain way, and I tell him I don't like when you do this, and he's like, I don't understand when I do it, so tell me when I do it, and then I do, and he takes ownership of that that's a big deal that's good mm -hmm. that that's why we work you know or if he tells me you I, you nag sometimes like i, I do give me an example you don't when i do something when doing it. yeah this is what i'm talking about i might not like it i might be like oh my god but then i'm gonna reflect and say yeah. yep he's right i did i did do that mm -hmm. i did i did and that goes back to my nuance of changing people right where i was coming from in the beginning i get that I get yeah. that because that is stuff that yeah, people want to change to to better the relationship. It's not mm -hmm. about chewing tobacco. It's not about oh, I'm going to start going to church with you, or I don't like I don't want to sleep in a separate room, but I'm going to pretend like I do for a while. That's all different. Spit or mm -hmm. swallow. Yeah, yeah. Oh all that God. stuff. All that stuff. Get on the stage. <laughs> oh, I didn't even, I didn't get even on realize the stage. I was just like, <laughs> get on the stage, bitch. I mean, I'm over it. Seriously. <laughs> and pay my student loan. Thank you. <laughs> pay my tuition, thank you. Pay my student loan that's been oh, here for, before either of them existed, probably. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> uh, well, before she existed, for sure. But but isn't it crazy? Like, the, it, we could go forever talking about, like, all these things because all every single thing we spoke about, everything, no matter the situation or whatever, is all applicable to someone like someone's form of like someone's relationship right like like f where i went to burns and and skilly skip their relationships as leaders and provocateurs of like their audience mm -hmm. or your relationship together or with your children or her relationship with someone that she liked but it didn't develop where it was mm -hmm. should have bombed but like you know what i mean or like mine to me reflecting upon a relationship like mm -hmm. all of these things are so applicable Mm -hmm. um to relationships at all you know and i think that the more experience and the more reflection you have on all these things allow you to be stronger um and and more capable of having that communication right you know with, with your spouse or or with anyone I totally agree 100 percent. yeah and what she was saying about like i want to go back to that is like with like the you know my date my friend david and ron like they would do things and i'd be like Y'all really pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, you know, like, the, like I'm like, I can't let, like, small, like, little attitude mm -hmm. just, I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got, mm -hmm. like, I'm pissed. But I, I, I wouldn't know that in friends. Like, I, w I want a friend like that. I don't want a friend who's going to be like, 
you know, a couple of days I feel like really weird about it. I'm like, is there something bothering you? Is there something mm-hmm. wrong? I don't want to have to ask you that. I don't want to have or to ask feel you that. Weird. It's too much. I want to know where I stand. I don't want to be I like, too. this isn't, yeah. Like yeah. something's you weird. Don't, you, don't want, you don't want a friend like that. You don't want a spouse like that. You don't want an employer like that. Mm-hmm. What's worse? I mean, in your career to think you're doing well and your employer's mm-hmm. thinking something. Di- I want you to say, hey, then you're fired. you then suck I say, at yeah. this part of your job. You got to get better. Yeah. Well, maybe not those certain words, but like no, but parts I mean, of your job, you can't get it better. Right. <laughs> suck. Uh, and you don't want to hear it in your relationship either, but there's got to be conversations. Oh, right? sure. Like, hey, you're really bad at communication. Like mm. you, you. You have yeah, and it's, we it's need hard. to fix some things like yeah. so that I understand mm-hmm. how to work with you. And even that is so hard. <clears throat> yeah, even a professional place like that's so hard. Like I just and and by the way, just very quickly, like me and David and Ron are still amazing friends. So I'm not meaning like this is still an issue. It's not <laughs> just for them, just in case. Yeah. But um, like I just recently reached out to my boss because. I'm like, I don't know how to manage people Mm -hmm. and how I was telling y'all earlier about like having people who edit that aren't, they don't do that full time and stuff like having to navigate those relationships because then they get in a situation and they're like, this is different than what I thought. Mm -hmm. And I needed, I depend on it because it's my business Mm -hmm. and they're just like doing this. Right, right, right. So like, um, I reached out to my boss, my former boss, like my first corporate boss that I had, um, after getting out of politics and stuff, which was about like three years ago. And I was like, how was I? I was like, now that we can talk and we just like, we can talk now. How was I? Like, what, what were some of my pitfalls? And I still don't know if he was fully comfortable to go there. Mm-hmm. But he was like, I always knew though. Like, he's like, here's the thing. So I was like, I know that there was probably some things you want to say and you never fucking did. I was like, I want to fucking hear. Because mm-hmm. I want to, I want to grow. I yeah. want to hear those hard things. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be pissed when you tell me them because I'm gonna be like, bitch, I, you fucking liar. Right. Even while I'm asking for you right now. Right. I'm in my head, bitch, you a whole ass fucking liar. I, fucking, I, mean, <laughs> I was on top of my shit. <laughs> but, but like, you know, you reflect. And he was like, nah, he's like, but for real, like anything that I wanted you to do, I had to help you focus. And once I knew you were focused, you do that. And he was like, he brought up a case that I had to like staff. And he was like, you came back and you were like, here, I got five people. Uh, that apply for his position and have an interviews. And he was like, I was like, shit, mm-hmm. you know, he's like, and that's a part of me with my, uh, which I talked to him about like getting diagnosed with ADD and stuff like that. My mm-hmm. issue that mm-hmm. we all know about. Right, right. And, but like, um, it's still hard. Mm-hmm. It's still really hard to that's have what you that. said. Come on. You know, better. <laughs> How long have you been podcasting with us? You know, better. You can't say that word. I help it. <laughs> you can't say that Hey, here, let me, let me help you. Anytime you need to say something as hard as say something, say it's difficult. It's challenging. It's challenging. It's difficult. It's difficult for me not to say that's what she said. Well, he's in the middle of telling us a story. I know it's very serious. So now that whole story is ruined. It's not. not, Let's not get dramatic. I'm just trying to help. (laughs) Get your ass back. You have to, you have to learn your synonyms when you, <laughs> when you are close with Jeff, you have to learn your synonyms. Mm-hmm. You can't say words like hard or wet mm. or anything like that. Oh. So you have to say, wet. you have to see what I mean. You He's have trying to, to tell use, me something. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh my God. No, I'm not. I hate him. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, get your thesaurus out before you come over. <laughs> think about words and what you can use in replace of them. All I do is make podcast clips. Like we have so many clips. Are you supposed do to send you him do some with clips? Them? You're supposed to be sending him some clips. Shh. What do you do with the clips? Wait, did you just what do you do me? with them? No. I want to know what never. you do with them, though, for real. I need to send them to you. No, like, no, in clips in general. What do you do? You said you have a lot. Yeah, what do you do with them? What are we talking about? Your clips of the podcast. What do you do? I just them? think I made some funny clips. Like, we could make clips out of them. But you don't currently make clips. Yeah. Nah, not really. Okay, Ange no, does I sometimes. I do sometimes. But what do you do with them when you make them? Well, she I made one on of me Instagram. and you th- the other day when I when I promoted our podcast, when you were flipping out when I was telling you my career changed. That was a great clip, by mm-hmm. the way. Did you hear it? Wait, I feel like I, I put I it thought, on. I tagged you, I think. I thought, but, he, okay. I thought he commented. Yeah, I think I did, but it's like. I got sick right after that, I think. He's yeah. like, I, and I, I did, like but I don't care enough like about your yeah. podcast to Shut really. Shut up, I do. <laughs> I talk about it. that on him. Yeah, don't do that. I care um, about it. Okay. Sometimes so I do. take clothes from the podcast to I think you need to make the them podcast. every single time. Yeah, I this do is me. This is me being a friend in the business and in industry. Because, like, y'all, I think that y'all have great conversations. When y'all just talk to each other, um, 
y'all have some awesome conversations and it's like how do people find this shit mm -hmm. i feel that's a butt true. coming on that's true no there is no butt oh, it's good. like how the fuck do people find the shit the butt the butt is like but nobody sees it mm -hmm. how do ah, people fucking okay. see it yeah they, yeah they would be better off if they did yeah Right? You all would be better off if they did. Yeah. I'm kidding. We try to promote each podcast that we do. We fell off for a minute. We're, um, we've done a terrible job for the last year. Five months. No, six months, six months, eight months, months. Probably, yeah, six to eight months. We've done a terrible job. Yeah. We need help. We need to figure it out and we get this off. thing We're going to figure it out together. Let's figure it out. Let's build an I just empire. have to refocus. Yeah. But, we, but we do try to promote it. But we need to try to promote it in a bigger way. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And I mean, and, and I, have, I, I like to hire a company and it. An editing company so i've strayed away from like um amateurs like mm -hmm. doing and, and I, I feel really bad talking about this especially live because the people that i've had that have helped me with clips and stuff like that i love them and and i and i i, I do want to apologize because it's hard to talk about it's hard to be authentic and talk about things that happen in your life when it's in regards to people you mm -hmm. know that aren't here or mm -hmm. that like it, it it's in relation to mm -hmm. especially on this platform because some people maybe could guess them and and i don't mean that i don't mean to throw them under the bus it's like this is me just talking about my situations because if i was better and and i was more knowledgeable about navigating these, these situations those wouldn't even happen mm -hmm. So I just want to like I want to state right, that right, because right. I, I do care about all the people who have done that, but um no so now I've um I've I've hired a editing company to like do this stuff you know and it's way more professional. Oh, that's good. Um, but where I'm going with that is that like so now that I'm 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 navigating in that those t that cadence, um there's going to be information that I I, I you know obtain and we're going to be sharing it like together it. Like and it. growing together. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah, it is. And some, and in this industry too, what's, what's unfortunate here we are here. I'm going off a tangent is how like people don't like to share information. And and it's so mm -hmm. unfortunate because like we, it's like, we are so stronger together. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's I'm constantly, dumb. I'm constantly having to preach that mm -hmm. to new relationships that I develop in this industry. And, and to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. But then they, they're so entrenched it's in ego not it's that ego. but I, I i don't i'm not so mad at them about it because i understand them wanting to like excel i understand that but it's like because like you have to cultivate that trust for them to be like okay i do get it that he really believes that he's understand that right. he believes it you know and but it, it's it's just an unfortunate like um it's just an unfortunate pitfall of being in the mm -hmm. industry is that like people don't want to share information nope they don't want it's like someone said this this statement and i don't remember who it is and i'm sorry to put you on blast if you ever hear that i doubt you will but someone said the statement that said something like um i i i, I don't want he said so you know that statement like i want everybody to eat just on at my table you know that what does it say you know the statement of like i want everybody to eat but not at my oh, table yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they oh, were yeah. like yeah they were like i don't want everybody to eat just people at my table he said it that mm -hmm. way and i was like that is so fucking gross mm. that is so gross yeah it is it's it gross. really is there's plenty for everybody that's the problem yes there's yeah. plenty there's plenty nowadays for everybody it was to prosper. real gross yeah. no i get that in the fitness industry it's the same way it's the same way. But leaders change that culture. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's hard to lead. Oh, yeah. And I want to be a leader in my, my industry mm -hmm. and on this platform. And I, I want to change that culture, too. Mm -hmm. Facebook platform? I do. Yeah, Facebook gaming. Facebook gaming. It's Facebook different. Gaming. The gaming like we talked about earlier? Mm -hmm. Is that oh what my it is? Gosh. Yeah, gaming like video games. Fortnite. Is it spelled the way it's talking about? Well, I mean, if you're gay and you're a gamer, it could be. The gay me? Gay, G A Y? You could be a gay man and, or M -I -N -G. a gay woman. And <clears throat> you play video games. I Jeff, think that's pretty clever. I'm going to, I think it's time to end this. And been, I'm going to end it with been, this. We've been doing like <laughs> two, two, two hours gonna, and 11 minutes. I'm going to end it with this. <laughs> Get on the stage. Get on the stage. So here's how we end our podcast when Michael's here. We all come in. And we say one, two, three, and then we say something. And yep. I think tonight we should say Hiya. one, two, three. No, 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 no. That's been done. Oh, that's, that's been cool, done. though. I like it. It is very cool. Yeah, it is cool. We need cool. to say one, two, three. Cool people. Get on, Get the on stage. stage. Okay. We should say mm. Jeff. Or one, two, three stage. We don't have to say my one, name. One, two, three stage. One, two, three stage. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Here's yeah. how we're going to do it. We do this every time. Ready? Every time, honey. All right, bring it in. All right, ready? One, one two, two, three. Stage. stage.
do it.